Okay, so I am getting the Twitter space started here. Just want to do a couple minutes early, make sure everything's working correctly. I see we got a good amount of people in the house tonight. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, trying to keep cool if you can, because it is hot as I don't know what right now. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I see a bunch of familiar faces here. And if you can just uh, give me a little hand wave, if you can let me know, can you hear me okay? Am I coming through clearly? Just want to make sure again that the technology is working well. So if you can hear me okay, clearly, no static or anything, just wave your hand. Okay, we got a few people. Okay, we're good. All right, well, before he gets here, just a special thanks to the Val for coming through. And uh, if this goes well, you know, like I said, no tech issues or anything, I might try to make this a regular... Um, regular event not just with the youtube live streams i do after the episodes but jump on here on twitter space and you know maybe talk with some other cast or you know other big fans of the show but i am happy to be here and it is almost seven o'clock so uh, grab you a snack you know if you have any questions make sure you get them together i believe a portion of this uh, discussion slash interview will be fan driven so we'll actually have uh, fans come in and ask a question here. I spent a good amount of time this evening learning how Twitter Spaces works. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. And in case you join in late or let's say you're in the middle of doing something, I do believe that Twitter Spaces can be saved and downloaded. So I will be putting this on my YouTube channel so you can listen to it later on as well. And I know that Zach has been a hot topic of debate for the past, what, three weeks? The past three weeks of the show. So we're going to talk a little Zach. We're going to talk Zatima. Uh, no spoilers or anything, but we will talk about, you know, what we as fans know about the shows. I uh, got some questions lined up for DeVal. And we're ready because I, I, <laughs> we're ready. I know a lot of people have a lot of questions, but we're here to have a good time, right? Here to have a good time. I see some people have comments already. Let me make sure I got this right. Twitter. Okay. All right. And I actually have Twitter open on my computer so I can um, read the questions as they come from the fans. All right, so I'm just waiting for the vow to come in. I see requests, but waiting on the man of the hour to come through. Okay, I sent in a request, so he's allowed to uh, speak here. I want to know if I needed to make him a co-host. I don't know if that was the what I needed to do, but hey... We hey, I'm learning. I'm learning. So Deval, I just sent a request so you can speak here, and uh, <laughs> I know the people are ready. The people are ready. Yeah, yeah, laugh emoji. I know y'all ready. <laughs> I see y'all on the tweets. Hi, be nice to Zach. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Look, look, look. I know, I know y'all, y'all are ready to go in on Zach. But let's be real here. Let's be real. Deval's playing the character. It's cool to see people pumped up, but let's keep it respectful. Let's keep it respectful. Oh, the valve's connected. Nah, uh, yeah, forget that. Just... Forget that. I'm with all the. I'm with all the action. <laughs> I'm with all the action. Where, where all my Zach on me is at? Where all my Zach on me is at? Where we at? We live in here. Envy, are we live? Envy, are we live? <laughs> yeah, we, we live, man. We live. Hey, hey, Zach Attack is going to take on a whole new meeting tonight. <laughs> well. First, first and foremost, I have to say this, right, on behalf of the entire cast, 
our show is only what it is because of you guys. All right. First and foremost, people like Jeremy, who've created whole forums to discuss the show and talk about the show and keep the show live, even when the show's not on television. If it isn't for people like Jeremy, which is why I reached out to Jeremy to do this, is because I think our show doesn't become what it is if it isn't for people like Jeremy. All of you people who have us trending on Twitter every week. So big up yourself, yo. Big up yourself because y'all are speaking and the people are listening. And uh, we appreciate y'all, all of us from the from the cast. So now that I have all the nice stuff out the way, who got the first question for <laughs> Zach? Yeah, who, who has the first question for Zach here tonight? All right, so I see some requests here, and uh, I see Danielle Smith was first, so... Let me see if I can add her as a speaker. So, Danielle, we're going to add you in first, and here we go. All right, I just sent the request. Uh, let's see. Danielle Smith, can you hear us? Can you speak? Yes, I can hear. I can speak. Okay, Hi, Devar. What's Hi, up, Danielle? How are you? What's going on? Okay, so the first question that I have is, are you really, really in love with the team? But that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. Perfect. So uh, I'll answer this question. You mind uh, muting so we don't have to hear the background? Uh, perfect. Thanks, Danielle. So, of course, I can't give any spoilers, but I will say this. Based on Zach's actions, you guys should be able to see how much he loves Fatima. Like, this man has literally tried to change everything about his life to be everything that Fatima needs. You know, he, uh, like, he hasn't cheated at all. He hasn't lied at all. He's trying to be better. He bought a property. He's trying to be more financially responsible. I feel like Zach has shown over the last three seasons that he's really, really in love with Fatima. So my answer would have to be yes. I can't tell you why the answer is yes, because I'm not giving any spoilers. But my answer would have to be yes. Zach definitely loves Fatima. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks, Danielle, for the question. Just to add on to that, I wholeheartedly agree. I don't think there's ever been any doubt about Zach's devotion and love for Fatima as a person. I mean, he said so himself that things in his life have been changed for the better since Fatima ran him over on that bicycle in the parking lot. It's the fact that Fatima brought, in, brought out something in Zach that was always there, but when you look at it from the perspective of how the women in his life have always kind of, you know, talked down about Zach, you know, pretty much told him everything he couldn't be, that the potential was just buried underneath the rubble. But here you have Fatima act as like the first person to help bring Zach out of the darkness to showcase the man he truly is, to find a portion of himself that he didn't even know he had inside of himself. So, yeah. The love for Zach and Fatima, I don't think, should ever be put into question here. But, again, thanks, Danielle, for the question. And let me thanks. see if anybody else has a question for you. Oh, oh, wow. We got a lot of different comments and requests here. So I'm going to send it to Shanice says, I am Shanice. You have the floor. Okay, she's connecting here. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces here tonight. Yeah, a lot of people I've seen lengthy tweets uh, tweets from. Like, I was want to say that, like, while Zach was doing too much with the hug, he's fresh off the heels of seeing a child that he allegedly is his son on the on the bike and finding out what kind of conditions. He that he lives in then you find out that karen is not dead after thinking that she was dead that is a lot to go through in the span of 24 hours he's on an emotional wow. roller coaster but he was doing too much with that hug and the stroking of the hair now <laughs> wow Shanice, Shanice, i will say this i appreciate you for having empathy for zach one of the few people <laughs> who want to have empathy for zach but i will say this though Shanice. i will say this if you continue to watch season two of Zatima, yeah, because I can't give, I can't give any uh, anything away, but I will say this: you will learn why Zach reacted the way he reacted to death. Okay, 
And, and it's important for people to understand that because when you see season two, you're going to say, oh, my, wow. That's why he reacted the way he reacted when he thought Karen had died and then reacted even more so emotional when he found out that she was okay. And I can't give away what it is, but when you see it, people will be like, oh, wow, like now it kind of makes sense, especially like you said, coming off the heels of finding his son outside, living in the same type of environment he grew up in, going in the room and having to deal with the man who's watching his baby mother and his son be super aggressive, that's a very emotional state to come from. Then to find out that the person who may be carrying your second child could have died in a fire. So, yes, I understand why a lot of women said, yo, he was doing too much. But I challenge, I, I challenge people to think about this. Doing too much in terms of what you would have done as a person or in terms of what Zach, a person who's Mom was abusive. Dad wasn't around. Women have always talked down to him. Now, a woman that cared for him for three years could have died in a, in a fire. Was he really doing too much? Or was this possibly the only woman that, until Fatima came along, actually showed any care for him? And that's what I want people to think about. Like, this is why when I always debate with people, when they say, why does he have to say that he loves you to Karen? Yeah, that's another why? thing that get on my nerves. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you why. I don't think black women are used to seeing a man say they love a woman without it being over-sexualized. Why can't a man say they love a woman, but not be in love with a woman? Why does it always have to go to lust? Why it can't just be like, yo, you was there for me when I held you down. I love you. And Tyler and I spoke about this because mm -hmm. I did Tyler. I said, yo, T. Real talk, um, him constantly saying that he loves Zach is going to rub people the wrong way. And Tyler said it should rub them the wrong way. And the problem is, is that we all have too much issues with trauma that we're not willing to accept love in, in other ways other than how we want it to be. Think about it. Zach has never been disrespectful to Karen. Telling her he loves her shouldn't be something that's so dis detrimental to his relationship. He's not saying, Karen, I love you. I want to be with you. He's literally saying, Karen, I love you, but we're not good for each other. I'm in love with Fatima. He said that to Karen multiple times. And I think we all have to get used to watching people express their love for other people without it being over-sexualized. You know what I'm saying? I get where you're coming from, but she, it, every time she he says it, and he clarifies that it's in a non-sexual, not get back together kind of way. She it gives her false hope. <laughs> so here's my question: Is that a Zach problem or is that a Karen problem? It Ooh. is definitely a Karen problem because so, because now that he has money, she wants him. But and, when he did, absolutely, I know where you're going. But when he didn't have money, she was ready to kick him to a curb. Right. I wonder if people ever thought about this, because this is a reality. Zach is trying to heal for himself. Zach isn't trying to heal for Fatima. He's not trying to heal for Karen. He needs resolution in himself. So has anyone ever thought about the fact that here is a man that's trying to figure out, you know what? I was a, I was a bum when I was with Karen. I was not the best version of myself. Fatima asks Zach, to go to therapy. Zach ends up going to therapy. He talks about it at the beginning of season six, end of season five. In therapy, Zach learns that in order for you to move forward, you have to find atonement amongst the people that you've done wrong. How can he atone for his wrongs with Karen? It's not by walking away and letting her stuff burn up in flames. Zach is trying to right his wrongs, not in a sexual way, but, yo, I'm going to be there for you because I couldn't be there for you the way I wanted to be there for you when I was your man. So I got you. I got you. I don't want nothing from you. I don't need nothing from you. But just let me have you because I need that for me. But why not let Aaron do all of that? You already gave her $77,000. I hear you. But the reason why I can't let Aaron do that is because Zach is trying to atone for his own past. Letting Aaron do that would be the same as letting another man right all his wrongs. He already had to sit there and listen to Karen yep, scream out all the things that was wrong with Zach. And one of those things was that Zach wasn't able to be the man that Karen wanted him to be. So how are he going to sit back and let Aaron do that again? 
Because then once again, it would be, you see, Aaron came and saved the day. That's part of the reason why Zach don't like Aaron. Because when, when Zach was correcting things, Aaron got all the praise. When Aaron was messing up, people was killing each other. His his ex-wife killed herself in a shot. Her, his, her brother went and tried to kill Karen and stab Zach. Zach comes in to try to save the day. Karen decides Why? to try to work with Aaron. So this atonement ain't for anybody but Zach. It's not for anybody but Zach. That Zach is trying to make things right with Karen so that he can move on. Okay. I'm gonna let some. I'm gonna step down Just and let the, somebody else. Oh, well, Shanice, thank you, Shanice, for that. Shanice, that was a good question. And I love that. Was a good question. Yeah. Thanks. And not only that, I just want fans to appreciate that we're getting such in-depth, you know, perspective on these characters from one of the actors themselves. I mean, we watch the episode, we have our discussions, we go on Twitter, but to hear it from Zach himself just adds a new layer to the discussion here. But I just wanted to add uh, just a question of my own. At what point, at what point do you believe that Zach will feel like he's, you know, corrected all of his wrongs or he's atoned for his past with Karen. Like, at what point will Zach say, you know what, I think I've done enough and I can finally move forward? And also to piggyback off of that question, at the end of the, not, well, technically eight or so months, if the baby comes out or if there's a uh, pre-birth DNA test, what if it turns out that, Karen is not carrying Zach's child. Would that impact Zach's perspective on how he's been loving and caring to Karen um, over the past few episodes? Will that impact anything with them? So those actually, those are actually two very good questions. Um, the first one is, when will it be enough? I'm gonna be honest with you. Zach is chasing ghosts. There's no amount of money that he can spend on Karen to make to atone for his past. Zach has his own issues that he has to deal with, with his mom, with his dad. The, the only way he can really atone with his past discretions is by first dealing with his own insecurities. And that's the biggest problem here. The biggest problem is Zach has his own insecurities and he's trying to use his money to make everyone forget about his insecurities. But those are things that, that exist within him. You can't pay for people to, to forget about who you were. You have to find ways to atone within yourself and i think that's the issue that jack is uh, zach is having he keeps trying to do something else and then something else and then something else but he's going to have to find out at some point that it's never going to be enough and he may lose fatima if he continues down this road now the other question you asked as far as um the end of you said at the end of season six right if well at the end of season six say we find out that the baby's not his I honestly feel like just watching, this is DeVal speaking, because we haven't gotten the scripts yet, but right. I feel like Zach would be hurt. I, I feel like Zach would be hurt because Zach would feel like, man, I did all of this in preparation to be a better father to this child than I was to Mike because I didn't get a chance to meet Michael until he was three. Here's my chance again to atone for Michael, but now I find out the child isn't mine. I think it would break his heart, to be honest. I, I think it would really, unless he gets Tima pregnant right, right away and has another baby, which once again, I don't think that's the right thing to do. But as you can tell, Zach is extremely emotional. He's extremely rambunctious, and he tries to fix everything immediately. Even the, Facts. to me, even the, even the proposal was like way too soon, bro. Like you have so many issues you need to deal with and and Fatima has her own issues she has to deal with but Zach once again is let me give her a ring and tell her I want to marry her because then this will prove it to her that once again is Zach's insecurities and that's to me I think that's the only thing that Zach has done wrong is that he hasn't dealt with his insecurities and he keeps trying to mask his previous behavior by spending his money and he doesn't realize how he's, he's kind of blocking Fatima out in the process Thank you so much for saying that about the proposal. I got so much flack online for saying Zach got down on one knee at the wrong. The entire mood was completely off. I mean, not just from when Fatima invited Ian downstairs to the restaurant. I mean, 
what kind of proposal story is that later on in life when you're telling your kids about how you, you know, got down on one knee? Well, you know, I was kind of in a doghouse because, um, you know, a dancer at a party was, you know, giving me a little Deja special. <laughs> and right. I was in the doghouse at the time I got home. I had stripper uh, uh, glitter on my crotch. And, well, in order to get your mom to kind of, you know, come around, I had to propose. And when I got down on one knee, you know, her ex was sitting right there with cancer. And that just kind of threw off the whole vibe. But we went home, made up, and then she ended up punching the you know, Deja in the face the next day. But, hey, it is what it is. But, yeah, I feel like that is a great point you brought up, that Zach is utilizing the resources that he did not have before in order to fix the problems right. of the past. And just because you pay off, you know, this person or buy this person a new car or whatever, it doesn't erase the trauma that you inflicted on them with your actions or they inflicted on right. you. And another point before we get the next person to hear with a question is I said this uh, about Michael or, you know, Heather's son when he was first introduced because we didn't know his name was Michael for quite a while. I said, I don't mind the fact that Zach has a kid because this dude was out here slinging it to dang near every woman in Atlanta. And what's one of the running gags or running jokes of the entire series? Atlanta is a small ass town. Everybody knows everybody. Oh, wow. And just because Zach started to do right, he got money now. He has a steady, um, you know, relationship with Fatima that does not erase all of his wrongs from the past that that just doesn't disappear so when people are like I and, want Zach and Fatima to have a happy happily ever after and I'm like that's not going to make for a compelling story and I remember I believe it was me, the oh go ahead Jeremy let me let me add to this right let me let me add to how real this is prior to being in television I played in the National Football League and I played for four years. I watched plenty of dudes who, while they were in college, were slanging that thing to everybody because they had nothing else to offer women but that. And they were aspiring athletes. This was before, remember, I graduated from college in 2006. So there was no social media. There were no blue checks. There were no NIL deals. There were no, this guy is a college phenom. It was just a bunch of guys playing football. And when you went out to the club, the girls didn't know who you were. Do you know how many women popped up out of nowhere in these locker rooms when these guys got contracts? Now they fighting paternity. To, like this, what's happening to Zach is a reality to what happens to people, not just men. People, when they get to a point in life, because I've also seen the same thing, not as far as children, but I've seen the same thing with women who've been struggling their whole life to do something. Now they've you know, ascended to heights where they're making a certain amount of money. And now everybody's coming out of the woodwork saying, hey, you owe me. Remember when I did mm. this for you, you owe me. What Zach is going through is exactly what happens in the hood, quote unquote, when someone finally makes it out and now everyone feels like they should have access to that person. Yep. And it's not, it's not about looks. It's not about, oh, he's so sexy. What it is is, man, that person can be my way out of my situation. So for Heather, that's what it was. For Karen, the way she is now, like, you know what? I held him down for three years, but he owned me. So I'm going to call him back, and I'm going to get what I what I deserve because for the three years when he couldn't do it, I was still here. That's what happens to people when they start to ascend. I've watched it when I played in the NFL, and I watch it now. So Zach is going through what people go through, and, and it's not a man thing because I watch women who was, when they was trying to sell their bundles in college and do all this other stuff, couldn't get a dude to, to do anything. But now they have their own shop and they making six and seven figures selling the same bundles. And now everybody coming out the woodworks. Yo, that was my girl. That I'm like, dang, y'all. Everybody does this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, money just brings people out of the woodworks like never before. I mean, it's just one of those things where, uh, what was it, Mike Jones back then? You didn't want me. Now I'm hot. Now you're all up on me. It, it's just people always look for any excuse to self-insert themselves in the present despite the fact that oh i wasn't good enough to have a relationship with back then you know we had like a one night stand or right. something but then when you finally make it all of a sudden you you are owed you are deserving to be where um you know i am now at the top spot and if i remember correctly it was the night after Zach and Fatima got back from Karen's apartment from the uh, letter reading dinner and Fatima pretty much broke it down to Zach about why 
Karen is acting the way she is, the fact that she feels owed, that she made an investment in Zach. So the benefits that Fatima is reaping now is what Karen felt she, you know, helped cultivate. So she deserves a part of it, despite the fact, and that's something that fans need to realize, despite the fact that Karen kicked Zach to the curb and shows Aaron over Zach. She was living her best life in season two. Season two, Karen was a mm-hmm. whole different Karen. She was sweet. She was dressing a bit differently. Um, the girls kept mentioning, oh, you're not drinking as much. Karen, I, I, are you the same person? I haven't heard you say a curse word and I don't know when. That was a brand new Karen. It was like she was changing, evolving. But lo and behold, the moment that Zach got, got up off the streets, that he started walking with a new confidence, a new swagger, all of a sudden, now Karen can't stand that. And then I, I remember in the season two finale, it was after the girls had left the grocery store from meeting with Zach and Fatima and realizing these two have been hooking up. When Karen was looking out of the window going, I can't believe he never told her my name. And I was thinking, wait a minute. Y- you expect your name to come up in conversation even after you two are, you know, separated from each other or at that point completely broken up? So it's almost like Karen feels like the hold she has on Zach. I mean, people talk about, like, Aaron is like, what's this hold that Zach has on Karen? It's not necessarily Zach having a hold on Karen. It's the fact that Karen doesn't seem to want Zach to win without her by her side to reap those benefits. But as long as she's off and happy, oh, hey, there's no problem. But the moment that Zach steps out and has another woman on, you know, his arm, then there's trouble. And that's something fans need to realize that, for as much as Zach, you know, is getting flack, it's not always completely on him. People need to understand there are other factors outside of Zach's behavior that brings about what we're seeing now in season six. So um, I guess we should look at the next person who wants to ask a question here. Uh, I see A. Williams. She, she's been in the queue for a while. Let me get her on. So A. Williams, I'm sending the request so you can ask your question. Okay, it's loading here. What's up, A. Williams? Make sure you take it off mute so we can hear you. Hello, can y'all hear me? We got you now. Oh, What's sure up, can. Mama? <laughs> How you doing? I have doing a question well. you? for you. Yes. Do you think Karen is ever going to accept the fact that you and Fatima are a couple? Is she ever going to let go of the fact that you're no longer, you don't no longer want her. Is she ever going to accept that? Um, well, to be quite frank, I, I don't know if it's going to be that easy, especially if the child is Zach's, you know, mm-hmm. I, I also think it'll be easy if the child is not Zach's because I think in Karen's mind, she wants it to be Zach's because they've had the most history. And I think she'll also be, super disappointed if it wasn't Zach's. But now she would have to watch Zach go on and have a fairy tale life with another woman. I don't think it's that easy to get over. And I think part of the issue with some of the fans who watch is that they always say, well, why don't Karen just get over it? We all have lovers that we haven't gotten over. Except for me. I ain't even gonna lie to you. My wife is my soulmate. I've been with her since I was 18. I don't be thinking about my exes. But then again, I wasn't a grown adult in a relationship for a long term with someone. So I'm only speaking off of what people have told me. Um, It's hard to be in a relationship with someone for three, even one year, and then watch them be the person you wanted them to be with someone else. So to answer your question, I don't know if Karen's ever going to get over it, to be honest. And and to be honest, I don't think it's fair for us to put a timeline on when she should get over it. You know, I think that that's unfair for us. I think we should watch her journey and be like, let's see how, if she's able to get over it. Okay. Okay. I wanted to add to that if um, I had a moment here. Something that I think that fans and just, you know, everybody in general needs to take into consideration is look at the people in the lives of Zach, Karen, and Fatima, the influence they have. Because 
more often than not, you know, just looking at the show and how these characters go through certain things, can we all agree that to some extent, like the sister circle, Zach's people, you know, Nate and Tony um, and Angela when it comes to Fatima and even Belinda, do you feel like their friend groups kind of, you know, blow things out of proportion where in situations where, let's say, Zach should talk with Fatima or Fatima hold should on, talk hold with on. Zach? I, everybody's friend groups blows things out of proportion. Everybody. It's not, not just the yeah. sisters. But I'm talking about in real life. If you, if you ask my friends right now, if I did something wrong when it comes to me and my wife, all my friends are going to have my back regardless. Because that's that's just what friend circles do, right? It's a pact you have. Like, listen, we all got to have a unified front against whoever's against our person in our group. That's human nature. We all do that. And I think the greatest thing about watching sisters is uncover how the sister circle can always give great advice to the other sisters, but won't take the same advice for themselves. They all do that. They all can tell the other friend how to do this or how to get through this. But then when it comes to them, uh, they're going to do what they want to do anyway. That's that's human nature in general. Guys do the same thing. And you can tell because look at Zach's friends. Look at Nate and look at Tony. Right. Tony often has really good advice for Zach. But why is Tony single then? Nate. On the other hand, Nate is just like Zach. The two of them grew up in the same type of lifestyle. They have the same traumas. They have the same issues with women. So Zach taking advice from Nate is like the two Spider-Mans pointing at each other. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm going to listen to you while I'm just myself. Like, they, it's the same person. So I think, and uh, this is also a shameless plug, but my wife and I wrote a book called We Over Me, New York Times bestseller. Um, shameless plug. But the biggest thing about the book is learning to look inward with your partner to find answers for your relationship as opposed to looking outward, right? If I have an issue with my wife, why am I going to run to my friends to find out from my friends what I should do with my wife? No, maybe I should speak with my wife about what she needs and requires and tell her what I need and what I require so we can figure it out together. And, and, and if I'm being honest, I think that's the part that most of the Fatima holics don't do enough of for Fatima. Let me ask you guys a question since no one, and I'm going to be honest, I was expecting way more heat than this. Like, like there's some people here that I was expecting to jump on here and come at me. Like, I'm going to give some names real quick. I think her name is Gabby. She always be having something to say. Um, Tay, Tay be having something to say. Who else? Let me look down here see who else be having something. Big Jazz, Big Jazz always be having something to say. I want to know where y'all at with these hard questions. Before I before oh, I go oh. off into my shade, there's another one. Shay always be having something to say. <laughs> uh, Big Jazz is in here. We, uh, if you want to put her on right now. Because Big Jazz be having mad stuff to say. I want to hear some of these hard questions because we're supposed to be debating. And I want it to be a debate. <laughs> Since y'all be having All so right, much heat for me on this bird app. <laughs> Heck, okay. Big Jazz should be coming in any yeah, moment now, but folks, yeah. Big Jazz, what up, Big Jazz? Y'all can hear me. Yes, Big Jazz, yep. we can hear you. How are you feeling? I'm good, and I don't give you heat, but I am Team Karen, so I feel like you and Fatima just move way too fast, and you what? push. You y'all did, and you just push. Okay. Okay, so females tend to, when we upset, we say stuff we don't mean all the time. Karen was just fed up with the poor Zach. It's not that she didn't love him. She was just tired of taking care of him. It was always no money. But then when he got the money, yeah, they was on bad times. But you went and started a whole new relationship. Like, and then you just Big said, you just shot Big off guys. in this relationship. Like, you moved her in. You Big gave her a ring. Like, you just Big shot off. I'm, I'm glad you said it, guys, because I, I couldn't wait to answer this question for you, okay? <laughs> Listen, oh, Karen, does not have the, Karen does not have the right to say to Zach, you just went off and started a whole nother family without me. When Zach was begging her to get back with him, and she said verbatim, I just want to see what it's like with Aaron. So, so Zach said, cool, like, yo, go take your time with Aaron, just promise me. Promise me that you're going to take your time. She went off and was about to get into a whole full-fledged relationship, was in the hotel, 
about to spread spread eagle for Aaron. So Zach bust in there with the knife wound. Still, it was still bleeding. Went in there, bust that yep. down, and said, "I thought you was going to slow down." So Karen was like, "No, Zach, I'm ready to move forward. You couldn't do this for me. You couldn't do that." Okay, Karen, you got it. I'm gonna move on. On top of moving on, she threw my grandfather's stuff in the garbage. And Colin had yes. me arrested for something I didn't do. Like you, like you can't call the cops on an ex-con, have him put in prison, and just think that Zach gonna be like, okay, Karen, everything is okay. Anybody, listen, <laughs> I'm not blaming Karen for the way things ended, but I will say that they both shared the blame. Zach and Karen were both toxic as hell, and they yes, just are better but, people without each other. How many There's times no did Karen take Zach back? How many times did he take? Did she take him back? Not, not enough. Because when he tried to get back with her, she said, "I want to try with Aaron." Then because called the cops had and already, had him. Back. She had already heard that me and her like I said, they make females say stuff that they don't mean. That was just in the moment. That was just hurt at the moment. Big jazz, like big jazz, you, big jazz. Let me. This is something a woman can never say to me. We say stuff we don't mean. You want to know why? Because no means no, always. And women I mean, will that's always true. say that. that's true. All right. So if no means no, when a man comes to say, "Hey, I want to get back to you," and she say no, I don't want to hear. Well, you know, I meant yes. No, because no means no. Say what you mean, sweetheart. If we if we gonna be together, you are gonna have to tell me exactly what you need and what you require. You can't say the opposite and do something different. Now, you know who else is guilty of that? Big Jazz, Big but Tima, <laughs> Big Tima. <do> this. <laughs> Zach all the time and all the Fatima Hollicks be quiet. I'll give you an example, Big Jazz. <laughs> Zach okay. wakes up in the morning, right? Zach <laughs> morning, right? No, listen to this. He wakes up in the morning. Oh, baby, we had a good night last night, man. We had sex, everything Gucci. I'm gonna go get these papers signed by Karen. Fatima goes, go ahead, you do that by yourself. Zach says, What? You want me to go to the salon by myself? Big Tima says, I trust you, Zach. I ain't worried about nobody else. I only care about what you do to me moving forward. Zach goes, cool. My baby got my back. Let me go to the salon and get these papers. Zach goes, gets the paper signed. Karen is nice. They hug. Zach's like, cool. My girl says she cool with it. You going to sign the papers? I'm Gucci. He goes back home to tell Big Tima, yo, Big Tima, I got these papers signed. She show him a picture of somebody else sent and be like, why are you all hugging up on her? Yo, what are you talking about? You told me to go by myself, play nice. And get the paper signed. I did exactly what you wanted me to do. Now, nah, exactly. That's exactly what Fatima did. She what? got mad because, because Angela got a picture. Because of the picture. Not I'm out, because I'm you out. went. When you send somebody and you say, I trust you. If someone else sends a picture of your man, you're supposed to have a conversation with your man about what happened. Not talk down to him when he comes in the door and be a like... Picture. I do a know a picture, a picture speak a thousand words. You want you want to explain to me why you hugging her? That what you want her to say? Explain a, a to me why you hugging her. A thousand words on, on Kiki Palmer's internet? The way they can manipulate <laughs> things and change stuff in these pictures? A picture don't mean nothing nowadays, Big Jazz. You know that. But even... even wait, wait. Yeah, I got to I gotta say something. I got to say something. I got to say something. A, Big Jazz, a what? picture may say a thousand words, but Fatima wouldn't believe a single word that Zach said. Thank you. Exactly, because that picture already said a thousand words. See, so if that's it the case, every but, oh, that's, oh, but oh. that's still wrong. Like, what's like, the wrong? You should, what's the wrong? I'm, I'm still team Karen, so I'm okay with the kiss. But you, if you shouldn't have allowed it, allowed it was a hug. It wasn't even a kiss. It was a hug. Well, well, the hug. She it, snuck that, that in there. Yeah. So, what you so, hugging for? What you so hugging my for? So this is my thing, right? You mad that I hugged Karen, right? Cool. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the steam plant and set Karen straight. Because all these Fatima holics been saying to me, how come Zach don't talk to Karen the way he talked to Fatima? Which is fat. Because Zach then told, told Karen a bunch of times, yo, I'm done with you. Leave me alone. He goes to the steam plant, curse Karen out. Aaron gets up. He fights Aaron. They go back home. You know what Fatima says? Why you fighting Aaron? Why you fighting Aaron? That proves you still love Cameron. You gonna sleep on the couch? What? Because you did too much. Big Jazz, what you realize that no matter what, no matter what, <laughs> no, no matter like, what Zach does, 
y'all find ill, y'all find fault in whatever Zach do, and don't look, hold none of them women accountable. None I of mean, them. We are holding them accountable. However, Zach not holding Zach accountable either. How? Zach, How is he not holding? Zach, Zach, Zach. I don't know. Zach act like he. I ain't gonna say he torn because he is team for team with Zach, but. Like you just moved on so quick. Like, did you fall out of love with Karen that fast and gave all the no, feelings to the team? My issue, Big Jazz. This is my issue, Big Jazz. Zach will openly and honestly tell everybody from the bottom of his heart, "I love Karen. I'm not in love with Karen, but I love Karen and I have love for Karen." And everybody has a problem with that. You know what Zach is doing? Zach is maturing and being a man, and he's being his own man, and he's not willing to say what everybody else wants him to say, and they can't deal with it, especially the sisters, Karen and Fatima. So you don't, Zach, you, don't you, feel, you don't feel like Zach should have gave Karen at least one more time, one more chance with the life that she actually wanted. After sending him to chance. jail for something to get through, no. Yes, after the no. no. Big Jazz, you're losing. You're losing this argument, Big Jazz. <laughs> right, right now, all the Karen Holics right now are like, Boo. <laughs> you're not, you're not gonna win, man. Uh, Karen and Zach uh, do not belong together, bro. They terrible for each other. I have, but a I rebuttal. love you, Big Jazz. I have a rebuttal. I love you, Big Jazz. Now, I do. <laughs> I love you too, Big Jazz. Big Jazz. I can't say I'm a big Karen fan myself, but I have to say this: Karen was over at Zach and Fatima's house. And she didn't want any of Zach's support. Basically said, oh, I got my own job. I got my own money. As you know, I got my own money. And I got a man yeah, who wants to take care of me and this child. But the thing was, Karen specifically said, hey, you know what, Zach? You draw up the paperwork. You send that paper over to Andy. Andy will look it over and get it to me to sign. But the thing was, the next day, and I looked at my TV funny. I'm like, why is that going to the salon, though? Karen said, give those papers to Andy instead. So, in a way, I felt like Zach was kind of setting himself up. He, Nah, Fatima set him up because Fatima's the one that told him to go to the salon. Zach just been trying to listen to everything Fatima saying and keep getting in trouble. Exactly. I'm exactly. A, Zach turned into Fatima Duck for some reason. And I'm and I'm gonna let the Fatima Hallix come in here and ask me questions about that because this Karen the Karen maniac Big Jazz over here <laughs> did not do a good job of debating. <laughs> but I love you, Jazz. You love me like you love Ooh, Karen. Okay, huh? let's see. Where, where oh, Hallix. I need a Fatima Hallix. Yeah, who's the Fatima Hallix? I'm looking through the list now because I know a lot of people talk smack every week. So let me see who we got. Need a fatima hey, call again. But yeah, keep them coming, yeah. folks. This Come. is a good discussion. A, I don't. I bet you we don't see. It do be a lot of team for teamers, though. Everybody be Hell against yeah, my girl team. Karen. Everybody be against my girl Karen. Just, just running over her little whole heart. They do be mad at oh, Karen. They be mad at Karen. Karen. They be going in. Okay, uh, Sh Shalon, I'm going to put you in. She raised her hand. I'm going to assume. This is a Fatima Holic, so Deval, when you're ready. I'm ready whenever the Fatima Holics is ready. Where y'all at? Who's in here? <laughs> Where them Fatima Holics at, man? Hello. Coming. Okay, What's up, Shalon? All right. So before I start, I want to say that all of the characters, well, I'm not gonna say all of them, but I love the show. <laughs> <clears throat> the show is the reason why I got BT Plus in the first place. Not even gonna lie. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. We appreciate you, Mama. We do. But um, I personally understand that every single one of the characters need therapy. Um, <laughs> and due to Zach being in therapy, I want to know, like, since Zach is obviously not a mind reader, because a lot of people get in relationships and automatically assume, like, you're supposed to know what's wrong with me. No, I'm not. <laughs> Talk about it. Talk so, about it. So I understand he's not... <laughs> I understand he's not a mind reader and he feels like he owes Karen so much due to all the stuff that he put her through. But why does, why do you feel like um, <clears throat> Fatima has to constantly express how uncomfortable she feels when it comes to him and Karen um, when her demeanor automatically changes? 
every single time. So I'll explain it, right? Mm -hmm. I'll explain it like this. Fatima has to be clear about what she wants and what she needs. Fatima's the only character on the show that needs three episodes to process. But it's <laughs> Zach, but it's Zach to make immediate changes. Like, change that immediately. Talk to me immediately. But then when something is wrong with her, she gets to storm out and Zach got to figure it out on his own. Part of the reason why all of this is happening right now is because Zach has already tried it for Tima's way. And it didn't work. He went to the, he went to the salon, tried to get the paperwork. Karen was mad. I mean, Karen took the picture, sent it to Angela. Fatima got mad. Then he went to the freaking eggplant. Wait, Karen, Karen didn't send that picture. No, well, Karen didn't send the picture. Excuse me. Karen sent the picture, but the picture got sent to Fatima. He goes to the steam plant, beat up everybody. Fatima mad at that too. At this point in the show, Zach is not taking any advice from anybody. Have you noticed? Rodeo came to give him advice. He said, thank you, but no thank you. Pam tried to give him advice. He said, thank you, but no thank you. Zach is finally starting to take his own advice and listen to what he wants to do, and people can't take it. On top of that, Zach tried to talk to Fatima, and Fatima ignored him. Fatima snuck out of work, went to work. Zach went to her job to be like, yo, I'm going to see Karen. Can we talk about this? No, Zach, I got work to do. I'm sorry. Fine. I'm going to keep going and doing what I'm doing because you told me you trusted me. That may be the mother of my child. I don't want to have no issues because you're the one who came to me and told me that Karen can come for half. So I'm going to go do whatever I got to do to make sure Karen is okay so that I can move forward with you and be happy. You ignoring me and not telling me what's the matter is your problem. That's not Zach's problem. That's your problem. And Fatima got to own that. He's not a mind reader. Fatima should have said, yo, you made me feel tiny because I'm pretty sure she did feel tiny and i'm pretty sure zach would have been like yo my fault babe i didn't realize because once again zach is not a mind reader but even if he was a mind reader and could read fatima's mind who is supposed to tell zach how to be a better boyfriend or fiance his mother was a drug addict and an abuser his father was not existent he just started taking therapy so he can't just figure it out on his own he needs his partner to speak to him she's been ignoring him since she saw them two together so how is he supposed to figure it out? Okay, okay. Also, I'm feeling it. can we talk about the it. fact that what team... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I got to say this uh, to add on to what Deval was saying. It's funny how Crystal... Or, I'm sorry. It's funny how Fatima couldn't find time to talk to Zach because she was at work, yet she found the time to leave her job to go down to the salon and, you know, sneak up on Zach and Karen. You want to know why? You want to know why, Jeremy? It's the same reason why she wouldn't answer Zach when Zach was calling her name, but she was sitting there listening and then talking to, to Andy, talking about he had on his I love you voice. I just woke up. I, ain't have I no said the I same thing on voice. Twitter. I had on I'm tired voice. But Thank this you. is, and not for nothing, this is what people do in relationships. They sit back and they say they're processing, but then they watch. And then they just project whatever they think the other person is going to do onto that person. And when that person tries to be honest with them, they already believe what they want to believe anyway. And that's what Fatima has done a ton of times to Zach. But nobody wants to check Fatima. All the Fatima holics come on here on his bird app and they harass <laughs> my life. That's what they do. And I love it. You want to know why I love it? Because I was captain of the debate team in 7th to 8th grade, and I love this. So, let, let's go. Who's next? Tell me why Zach I is actually, wrong so I can tell you. I, I see somebody. Um, I'm me all day long. She has been putting up the hand to come aboard for a while, so let me add her. Uh, here I go, 1981. You are coming aboard, so get ready with your questions. Shalon, thank you so much for your time, though, sweetheart. I appreciate you. Thank you for being such a big supporter of the show, man. We love you, yo. Okay, Who is this? I'm uh, me all day you long. Yes, I'm you. Can you hear me? We can hear you now, mama. What's yes, up? we can. Okay. 
I just listened to everything you said about Fatima. And my thing is, you say you love her, you got her best interest at heart, but you always be impulsive. The fact that in Fatima, before you had a chance to discuss Deja moving in, you gave Deja the, the keys. Then, before you had a chance to discuss with Karen about helping her repay the shop, you automatically told her yes. Do you not think you're not supposed to discuss anything with her? Well, like I said before, Zach is a terrible boyfriend and an even worse fiance. Even worse fiance. Like he, he has no idea how to be a boyfriend and be a fiance. But you know how these conversations go? They go with two people. Mm -hmm. But when one gets mad all the time and leaves and has to process it for days, how is Zach supposed to learn? Okay. So Mrs. Lee keeps saying she gotta process. Of course she gotta process it because do you want big team to really show her ass? I'm just saying, like she told you she crazy. Hey, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you. Zach ain't worried about big team. Okay, Zach. Zach done been locked up for three years. Y'all keep saying that Zach, like he's supposed to be scared of, scared of big teamer. Zach was locked up for three years and made it out. You think he's scared of big teamer? Come on now, let's stop. Y'all, y'all really gotta stop with this. Like she's the boogeyman. Fatima is not Suge Knight. Okay. She is not Suge Knight. <laughs> that is not even the point. That's not even the point. Whether she Suge Knight, Big Knight, whoever. The point is, you're bringing all the things like we, we all said, we we agree, we all, she definitely needs counseling. But at the same time, all these triggers, all these triggers. When she told Angela, you abandoned her, I felt that because you did. You zoomed out the like you was Peter Gonzalez. When she got on the scene, you act like you didn't even know she was there. You didn't acknowledge her or anything. So what is she supposed to do? She let her process. Tell him. She's supposed to tell him. That's that's what she's supposed to do is tell him. I'm I'm saying that he was wrong for that. He was absolutely wrong for running out there and not grabbing the girl and being like, yo, let's go. We out. But he, he was wrong. He left. What Fatima should have did, like a big girl, is roll up there with freaking Andy, leave Andy ass with Gary since she always running after Gary, go stand next to freaking Zach and be like, baby, are you okay? Because we need to talk about this. You can't just run out of here and leave me. She's supposed to open her mouth. She big bad wolf for everybody else. Why she can't just be honest with Zach about what's the problem? Okay, so to, to do what? To do, to do what? So why are you screaming at a burning building? Oh, Karen. Okay. Like, ain't nobody in there? Like, she right no, there. there why was a she body have... There was a body in there. It, it wasn't out. Karen's body. We it wasn't Karen's body. Karen! The body was burnt. We didn't. Karen! Karen! Zach was going through a lot. Exactly. That's still going through a lot. The point is, you do not, you do not like even even when when Preston came over there, she'll be all right. Really, like you really just like discredit her feelings altogether. You keep making to me, you making a mockery of her feelings because you do not acknowledge her saying, "Well, why does she got to take three episodes to process it?" Because that's how her mind works. I mean, and so let so better when she do have a conversation with you, she's calm and she's she got all her feelings out the way and she can just talk to you clear headed versus her being angry and upset and she can't get her feelings across because it seems like you're not going to listen to her anyways. So let me ask a question. You honestly feel that in a relationship, if a woman takes three days to process it, a man is just supposed to wait the three days because that's what she needs. You don't think they're supposed to meet in the middle? You don't think she's supposed to at least give a little bit? You think you honestly feel that Zach is supposed to just wait until Fatima's ready all the time? Because if we're being honest, that's literally the same thing she did with Ian, right? Mm -hmm. She found okay. out about Ian. She found out about Ian, went to meet Ian, lied to Zach. Liar, just lied. Zach mm -hmm. just lied to Fatima. Straight mm -hmm. lied. Zach. Went to go meet with Ian. Zach got a picture too. Picture speak a thousand words, don't it? It Zach, does. Zach comes <laughs> home and it's just like, yo, what, what happened to you today? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Where'd you go after work? Oh, nowhere. I came straight home. Lie. Oh, you came straight home. Well, it took you a little bit longer to come home from work. Oh yeah, I stopped in the coffee shop. Oh, you, did you meet with somebody? <laughs> so Zach had to probe her to get her to talk when he was in his feelings. But Zach is supposed to just wait until she... That, that's not fair. You know that's not that, fair. And that's what is it? That's what okay, so you keep bringing up in. I keep on Twitter in, in, in every every time. That's one incident compared to your 30. Let's be honest. When Fatima came home that night, how did you not know she was gonna talk to you? But you was too busy with, with your sexy voice on the phone with Karen. I love you too, Karen. Oh, I'm thinking about you. I want to hear your voice. Really, dude? Really? Okay. No, first, of all, first of all, revisionist revisionist history. This revisionist history you got talking about one incident, that's just straight cap. I'll tell you okay. another time. I'll tell you another time Fatima lied 
connived and schemed on Zach. Oh, you're going to use all these big hold, words. Hold, okay. Go hold ahead. on. Let me finish my okay, thought. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thought, okay? We talking about giving somebody time and space, right, to talk about things. Mm -hmm. Only one person in this relationship went and spoke with a therapist, a therapist that they met from another man, invited the therapist into their house, lied with her friend to say <laughs> okay. a friend of her friend, and held a whole intervention for Zach. Only one person did that. It was Big Tima. So once again, I ask you, why should Zach do everything on Fatima's terms when Fatima consistently imposes on Zach truth when it is her time? Preach. Because they preach, it, Zachary. It supposed to be Fatima over. <laughs> no, and they don't preach. It, but the thing is, at the same time, if it wasn't for Big Tima going to get the therapist, would you really ever went to therapy? No, you would have never went to therapy. Okay, so just breathe, that, breathe. I'm fair. breathing, that's I'm breathing, fair. huffing, puffing, You're all of it. I'm just saying, point. he's not going to talk about Big Tima like that. You're missing the point. The point of the matter is you guys continue to ignore the roles that Fatima has played in making Zach who he is as well. Y'all blame mm -hmm. it all on Aaron. Y'all blame it all on his mother. And you don't realize her being manipulative and lying as well to get Zach to go to therapy is not healthy. Mm -hmm. Not healthy. And the fact that y'all will give excuses and be like, well, well, he wouldn't have went to he wouldn't have went to therapy anyway. That don't make it any more righteous. You don't get to lie to somebody multiple times and say, well, she lied with the right when she lied with the right intention while demanding that Zach tell her the truth all the time. Make that make sense. Yeah. Please. But at the same time, when she do try to be that for you, you push her away and lay in Connie arms. Are you serious? You know do you want to be with Okay. Come out. Okay. You know, no, no. You know you know why he pushed for them away? Because she's routinely lied. Okay, that's cap. Yeah, that's cap. That's, that's not like another That's not cap at all. That's not cap at all. Now you got your wingman helping you. Okay, that's fine. Listen, the shout out to my man Nate came in here. I see you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He's another. He's another in there. Go ahead, go ahead with the name. But no, but no. But in all, in all serious, in all seriousness, like I know we joking and stuff, but in all seriousness, right? It takes two to be in a healthy relationship. It takes you're right, Zach is extremely flawed and the reason why i took on this character is because i wanted to take on a character that had so many flaws and humanize him so people can understand why this person has the flaws rather than watching a character go through the flaws and just discard him as we do so many other people dealing with the same issues i just i, I just want to point this out for for so many of you if you look at the room right now right 90 percent of the women 90 percent of the people in here are women correct mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you look at the majority That's of accurate. the producers directors and writers in hollywood most of them are either women and maybe i think I think it's less than 3% are heterosexual black males. Okay, just think about that. So our stories and our voices in this media isn't told often. And a lot of times when it is told, women often have the issue with it because they're not used to seeing our stories through our perspective. I'll give you an example. When you watch directors like Spike Lee, who also executive produces, writes, and directs, Ryan Coogler, I remember this last scene in Creed 3 because, of course, Michael B. Jordan, he directed it, executive produced it, and helped with the writing. There was a scene where he was talking to his girlfriend at the time. Adonis Creed was talking to his wife at the time. And she was like, why don't you just talk to me? And he barked on her like, I don't want to talk about this. Mm -hmm. I feel weak talking about this, and I don't want you to see me weak. And I was watching online how many women were triggered by that and were just like, man, like, why did he have to speak to her like that? And why is he shutting down? But the reality is a lot of men go through that. They're afraid to speak their truth to women because they don't want to be seen as weak. And when I spoke to Tyler about this role, I was like, is there a way I can play the role differently than the way we see traditional black males on television? And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, I think Zach needs to be probably the most vulnerable black male we see on television. And he was like, I hear you, but why do you think that? And I said, because we don't ever get a chance to see black men, heterosexual black men, be vulnerable, cry for their mom, cry for their girl, be down and out and not know what to do. We always have this superhero complex that we have to be strong for everybody. 
when you watch Zach on television, Zach is being as vulnerable as he can be. Because I don't I want to pull away all of the shades. I want to pull away all the armor. When a man is going through stuff in his life and he and he needs change, this is what it looks like. Y'all don't get to see it because he may cry in his bathroom. He may cry to his boys, but this is what it looks like. He's a broken little kid who has to rebuild himself up. So a lot of the stuff you see from Zach, and it's not me trying to validate his actions because his actions are wrong. But we're gonna we're gonna watch him go through these wrong actions week after week. So we can say, damn, based on what I know about Zach, that's why he responded that way. It don't make it any more right, but I know why he responded. Let me see how Fatima works with him through that process. Let me see how Zach works with Fatima through her process because what she did was wrong. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and that's what I that's why I really wanted to have this discussion with everyone is because I want you guys to start looking at this through a different lens. Don't judge the characters and say, well, the characters aren't acting the way I want them to act. Start empathizing with them and say, why wouldn't Danny let Rodeo love her? Why does he? Why does she keep running? Why does Andy keep running back to Gary when she's so brilliant and powerful? Why does Fatima hold on to Zach when Fatima can go get somebody else? Why does Zach keep making poor decisions when it comes to women? You see what I'm saying? Yes. If, if you have those kinds of conversations, because these are the type of healthy conversations as a community we need to be having after watching television. We need to be having healthy conversations about how we can all grow. The thing I applaud that you said when you got on this thing first is you said, first of all, all the characters need therapy. I agree with you a thousand percent. All the people in this room listening right now probably need therapy. Yes. Because we all have traumas and triggers that we don't know how to deal with. And I'm telling you right now, when you watch Zach, when you watch Nate, and you watch how they deal with stuff, I want y'all from now on to be like, damn, what made him respond like that? Because that is the most realistic response you're going to get from a man on television. And I spoke to Tyler. I said, Tyler, why do you write in such a way that sometimes villainizes black men on television? He said, I'm not villainizing black men. What I'm doing is I'm giving women a realistic response to what they do. And I want them to see how it can turn out if they don't learn how to follow God. You know, Mr. Perry's big on God. Follow God and listen to their heart. So he's like, I'm not going to just make some knight in shining armor that's going to come and fix all the problems because that's not going to happen in life. There's going to be times where two people who are madly in love with each other, have great sexual chemistry, just won't know how to communicate. And I want them to see what that looks like. As much as people love Zach and Fatima, people hate the way they communicate, which I agree with. Me, you can ask, you can ask Cam. He's on here now. We get the scripts. We watch this stuff. We read it for hours and hours and we'd be like dude why why mm -hmm. would they talk like that to each other and even even cam i mean even nate and zach i'm like why would their friendship be like this would yeah. they sit down and be like well we're too emotionally we, us two as men are very emotionally aware men so when we look at our characters sometimes we laugh and be like i would never fucking do this <laughs> <laughs> But when you're playing a character, you have to say, why would Nick respond like this? Why would Zach respond like that? And that's that's what we're bringing to the camera. That's why when people get mad at Nate and they get mad at Zach, I know that we've done something that evoked an emotion that I could never have evoked as DeVal because DeVal would never do it. Same thing with Cam. Yo, me and Cam be on the phone for hours talking about stuff. And the way his character is on television is not Cam at all. But we, we laugh and like, yo, can you believe that they're so mad at this? But yeah, we can believe it. That's why we like talking to y'all. And I'm not going to lie, Cam was the one that told me to do this. This was months ago. He was like, yo, D. At the time I was filming, but he was like, yo, D, we're going to do an after show every night after Zatima. It'll be dope. And I was like, I would love to, but I was I was filming another project. But it was, mm -hmm. it was like, people need to hear why we make these choices. So first of all, shout out to my man, Cam coming on here and jumping in here with me but I, I appreciate you bro I had to point I had to appreciate you because as artists you and I talk all the time about what we want to do to make our characters more realistic and sometimes being more realistic means you can't judge your character you gotta let go gotta let go let the writing be what it is yeah and I, I want to say this about my man Deval I, I know we just while we're giving out flowers because um 
I've never really worked like this. Like you guys, I mean, uh, working with Tyler is a very, um, if you ever watch an interview with any actor after they work with Tyler, they tell you how it, it's no joke. And DeVal quickly, quickly when season one started, made me get my mind wrapped around the thought of that we're going to work as hard as we can and we're going to just live in the moment. We're not going to worry about what's on the page. We're going to make it our own and we're going to make it authentic. And mm -hmm. that allowed me to kind of just really be wild as hell, pull my pants down. Like he gave me a lot of those freedoms to kind of really just, you know, try to make Nate uh, as as much of a homeboy as possible. Like a lot of y'all don't know y'all man's homeboy. I mean, maybe you do. Maybe he's outgrown some of these people that are like Nate. Or maybe he hasn't. And some of these people have grown with you said spouse you may have. But every guy knows a guy like Nate. Every guy knows a guy like Zach. Every yeah. guy knows a guy like Tony. Y'all may not know these guys because either they've been shed or they've shed their skin and become something new. Yeah. But these people, and that's, and a lot of guys, they hit me up privately, not probably, but they just hit me up like, yo, I love what y'all got on the show. And they not, they, cause they're not really judging, you know, Zach, Tony, and Nate. They're looking at the relationship and how real that is connecting. And Sometimes I hear people go, why don't Zach just shed Nate? He he ain't ready to grow with them. Da, da, da. And it's like, that ain't just that ain't real. Like, nah. you can't just share people you you went through some of the most traumatic experiences with. You know, you can't just shed them. Like, of course, you don't give them opportunities. And that's what Zach is doing. He's giving them an opportunity. Now, Nate keeps can't fumbling can't that. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Big Jazz. Can't hear I can't hear you, Big Jazz. Yeah. Oh, hold on. It's okay. I think you were you saying he shed Karen? You were saying yes, he shed Karen. He, Karen. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. He but, didn't have Karen Jazz, back till he thought Karen was dead. Big, that's big, a major. What? That's a major. Big Jazz. Big Jazz. You 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 got to stop lying, Big Jazz. <laughs> he did not shed. Karen. He was begging <laughs> Karen to get back. Karen shed. Karen said. She wanted to try things with Aaron, Big Jazz. Why you keep making stuff okay. up? Okay, mm. Karen released herself. She mm. released herself. When she, when she talked up to the house, she so. said, okay, come home. You can't do ain't that. Ain't no more home. Ain't no more home. It, 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 it ain't. <laughs> like, ain't no more home, baby. <laughs> that home gone. That home is burned down. That, nobody care about their apartment. That's yeah, gone. He, he in the penthouse now. He got a place. Exactly. Big Jazz, that's <laughs> the truth. That's the truth, Big Jazz. Like, Karen, Karen did that to herself. She called the cops on my man. If, if you know any, and this, oh is the truth, this is the truth, bro. If you know any ex-cons, um, my, one of my closest cousins, I'm going to say his name, but did eight years. And we'll go anywhere. Anytime the police come around, he is gone. He don't want to have anything to do with law enforcement. Right, right. So can you imagine a woman calls the cops on you knowing that you are on probation and call and get you locked up? Can you imagine what that'll do to someone who's an ex-con? There's no coming back from that. Oh, and so that's exactly unforgivable. Over. Exactly. And then, yeah. Let's not forget about the slap. That slap was very unwarranted. Yep. Let's yep. no. Let's not. Don't don't. Come on now. Let's talk about that slap, big ass. I, but we big already ass. talked about emotions and feelings. And no, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, <laughs> you know, mm -mm. you can't mm -mm. put your hand on ass. nobody. No ma'am. No ma'am. <laughs> big ass, you gotta let that go. Big ass. Same love for Karen that he got for Fatima. He don't. He's showing it every week. He don't. Now he, Fact, she he, he definitely and, showing it. Just, just, just hurt let, my girl even more and more. Let me tell you, I'm gonna. You can ask Cam because I can't say what it is. But when y'all see the second season of Zatima, and y'all see. What that whole group has to go through Ooh. as far as I, I already saw the second I already saw the, the full season. It's, it's out on Philo. I don't know why BT Plus putting it out late, but it's already out. What? No, no, no. So no, the no. second half of the season. She said the second half. You're talking about 2B. 2B. Yeah. They're talking about 2B. 2B continued. Like, that's, you know, like that's, that's, that's the redemption season. That's going to be called the redemption season. Ep episodes 11 through 20, there is there's something that happens that changes that whole dynamic forever. And when you see what happens and, and how it happens, you'll say, oh, that's why Zach responded the way he did about death. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll see. like you'll, you'll be like, oh, wow. That, that makes all the sense in the world. But I will also say this. The way they released the episodes is extremely confusing. And that wasn't Tyler Perry. BET and BET Plus have their own thing that they're doing. 
they license content, so we don't we don't even know as characters when they to release things. We oftentimes find out from you guys. Yes. Like, Cam Cam sent me a clip. I think it was something Jeremy posted saying that we were coming back August twenty fourth, and I was like, Cam, where the fuck you got this? <laughs> and he was like, Man, they are uh, they already posted. <laughs> they already got it. You know, all of this the team of, the, the team of fan base already got it. They're ready for it. And I was like, Wow. But Jeremy was the first one that showed me the trailer from season yeah, one. Yeah, all the episodes that they seen new, I already saw all of them. See, so no, I think they're talking about new on BT. Yes, so new I on saw BT. Zach with his mom. I saw her leave the hospital, the grocery store. I saw all that already. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the biggest thing is when y'all watch the second part of season two, y'all are gonna say, "Dang, like that's now it all makes sense as to why yeah. they're responding that way." And I can't say that on Twitter. I can't say what it is. Cause it's gonna spoil the end of season two. Yeah, don't spoil it if I ain't saw it. Don't spoil it. I ain't spoiling <laughs> nothing, Big Jazz. I got you. I already see you don't play. Big Jazz don't play. I, I already see. You. So um, I got about twenty more minutes. Who else has a question? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I'm I'm me all day. That's you. I, I'm me all day. You you That's was me, on baby. You was on you was on me heavy just now. Okay, you, you was Thank on me heavy. You. But thank you for responding to all of my questions and everything. I appreciate you so much. No, no, no. I appreciate you because you really invested. Oh. And there's people like you is the reason why we are who we are. So thank you. I appreciate you. Keep it coming every week. You mm. better be at me and come in with the hostility because that's the only way we're going to be on TV. Right. So you might as well get ready. Because it's going right. to be hot. Right. All right. <laughs> get ready. <laughs> get ready, baby. Get ready. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I got the next one here, uh, Jazz. Please let me get her on here. Jazz, please. I think I'm, I think. Oh, I'm, Jazz. Oh, she about to come with the heat. Okay, I, she about to come with some flamethrowers. Second, she about to come. I've been going back and forth with her all day. With another Jazz. Come on, Jazz. <laughs> jazz, jazz, jazz gang. I, I've this seen this good. profile before. Yeah, jazz, you seen this one. Jazz, please. What's up, Jazz? <laughs> Can y'all hear me? I'm chilling. How are you? I am good. How are you? I can't complain. You know, life is good. Awesome. Hey, Cam. Hey, hey, hey. Sidekick that stay getting you in trouble. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna be good. That's the Robin hey, to my Batman. That's right. We just been Batman and Robin. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hey, hey, y'all. Hey, Jeremy. I gotta make sure I speak to everybody. Hey, Jazz. Know. How I you doing? Speak to the valve. No, I, I feel you, Jazz. Don't be rude. Right, I, I feel you. Rude. But there's about four. Is that Zinga? Hi, Zinga. I'm sorry. Zinga <laughs> on here, too. Yeah, I see Zinga down there. My girl, Zing Zing. Hey, y'all. Zinga Ling. I see her right there. Zinga Ling. Okay. Um, All right, come on. My, I have two questions. So, my All right. My first question is, when you got when you got to the fire, did you actually know that Fatima was there? No. I didn't. Not at all. Um, at, and this is me answering as Zach. Okay. Zach. Zach didn't believe what he was hearing. Mm -hmm. He's like, there's no way. I got to go see by myself. Mm -hmm. Zach literally thought he was going to get to the fire. Mm -hmm. And then Karen was going to walk out and be like, oh, hey. So he's calling Zach. He's calling Karen. Like, Karen, like, like, come on, stop playing. Like, come outside already. Like, oh, we get it. It's a fire. So he's in shock. He's thinking like, I don't, I, this can't be right. real. Then it slowly starts to come to him like, wait a minute. So the medical examiner says there's a dead body. Karen is the only one that's not here. Is Karen really mm -hmm. dead? And like I said before, he's not only upset because Karen is dead. Zach is like, Karen has died. She could have died with my child. Yeah. And now my chance for atonement is also in that fire. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. I can't do anything. I got to live with yeah. it. Like I, I, I'll never be able to be who everyone said I can't not be. To not then, to mention probably the last conversation y'all had. All of that. I'm pretty sure all of that was exactly. going through y'all head. Your head, right? So, so that's that's everything that when he goes to the fire. Right. Then Aaron is, you know, adding fuel to literally adding fuel to the fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to be here now, huh? Now you care so much now. In Zach's mind, he knows that Aaron is right. Like, I couldn't do anything before. But now that I can, I still couldn't be here. But she died in the fire. Mm -hmm. So, like, like, this is the worst possible scenario. Then, out of nowhere, in dramatic TP fashion, 
Karen walks in with her hair perfect. And <laughs> Zach is like, oh my God, like, you're not dead. Yeah. Like, the joy is, oh my God, like, you're not dead. Oh my God, like, like you're here. Like, hug you, look at you. Hug you, look at you. Is the baby okay? Hug you. And then before he knows it, the girls are pulling him away. Okay, she's not dead. She's good. Fatima was here the whole time, and she was looking at me. What are y'all talking about? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, like, why were y'all looking at Fatima if Cameron was supposed to be like dead? Like, why didn't y'all care about what was happening? Mm-hmm. In his mind, he doesn't see what the problem. Gotcha, gotcha. Got and and that that to me is one of Zach's flaws. Mm-hmm. He I doesn't agree. know how to be a. He don't know how to be a fiance. If this is Deval, right? If this is Deval, not mm-hmm. Zach. We got the law firm. Right. Deval, your ex died of the fire. Oh shit. Kay, let's go. What why are you still standing right. here? Come right. on. Like, Kay, come on. That's what Deval would do. Right. Zach is not even used to having a fiance. It's oh shit, I gotta go. Yeah, because yeah, cause as a as a fan of the show and as a and as a fan that's rooting for Zach, I'm like, nigga. <laughs> Get for get for Tina and go. And I was I was like I knew he still loved my girl. I knew get for Tina and go. Like you, dude, what are you doing, right? So okay. Listen, I'm not mad. Thank you for answering that question. My second question: when you were when you were at the when you was at the crib and you was talk and you was talking to um and you was actually talking to Karen on the phone, if. If mm-hmm. the conversation was so innocent, and you know, and you noticed that Fatima walked in, why not say "I love you too" in front of in front of Fatima? Because because as a fan, <laughs> let me finish. As a fan, you turn around and see Fatima come in. It looked fishy, and you and and Zach looked guilty. So that's why absolutely. So that so that's why fans is in the uproar, and that's why fans is like, "Hey, yo, Zach look like he cheating." As though, as they should be. As they should be. Once and 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 here's here's my thing to that, right? Mm-hmm. Zach has been told by Fatima plenty of times that she trusts him, yeah. right? But every time he goes and does something with Karen, she gets pissed. See, see, now you, is, that not, is that not the truth? Okay, see, hold on, let me part. Oh uh, damn, she dropped. Part, got to part. But that's that's been the truth, though. <laughs> Don't bend the block. Hold on, bro. Let me part. You're right. Put your, put your signal on, Jazz. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Turn the music down, Jazz. Okay. Turn the music down while you park. We know how black people do. <laughs> <laughs> I got my Bluetooth on, so I'm good. So, yes. Okay. So, yes. Absolutely. You're right. While Fatima does say that she trusts him, and I and I agree with you a thousand percent, Zach can't do stuff that will that will discredit the trust, too. That's unfair. Right. To both of them. So... Absolutely, but has Zach done anything that's discredited the yes. trust? Yes. Like what? Yes. The conversation like what? That he had. Oh, no, no, you have not done. You have not I'm done not anything. I'm not talking to Nate. <laughs> no. Nate is not. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so wait. No. So wait a minute. So let's let's be clear. The conversation on the phone, the same conversation that Fatima told me to have verbatim. In the at, in the living room, Fatima said, "Hey, you need to play nice with her. She can make your life a living hell." Did not Fatima tell Zach that? Uh oh, crickets, 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 crickets. Cricket. I'm waiting, Jack. I am. I'm making the crickets. Noise. I am processing this conversation. Oh come on, Big oh. Tima! Come on, Big Tima! No, 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 no. Because one thing about Jazz, she pulls receipts. Okay, and ask my. And ask people on this phone. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for them. No, because I want to piggyback off of you something you said earlier. So you said that you said earlier that oh, just because how you act, it doesn't affect. What does Karen have to do with that? You don't think you're leading Karen on? I, no. If is. you know yeah. she's no. in love with you, no, I'm not leading. When I when I tell Karen, Karen. I love you. I will always love you. But I'm in love with Fatima. We are done. Zach, that I, I mean, can't, I can't be leading her on. I can't be leading her on. Deval. He said that. To, he said that to her. He said that to her in her salon. He said that to her again in front of his house. Deval, respectfully, that that was <sighs> respectfully Deval. That was before this near death situation. And on and and you know, like I know, that change that changes the traje- the trajectory of people. 
You, mm-hmm. you, my friend, are playing with fire. No, 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 no. You were, 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 you were hanging out with, you were hanging out with your feet on the ceiling, talking, you, you, no. you reminiscing, <laughs> talking about, he bring it up you talking, stuff you about two about, weeks ago. Man, 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 how was I looking? You weren't looking at me. How was I looking? And she, you was looking like you was looking, you looking like you love me, and stuff. Y'all, act, y'all both acting like y'all in high school. Just yes, just, yes. just on- had a traumatic experience, yes. Jazz. 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 Ain't nobody die. Yes, no, 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 no. This is why this is why I love these debates because you can't have it both ways, Jazz. Nope. You can't sit here and say near death experiences changes everything. It does. But then, because, and and, and, but the, the, and the reason and the reason I say that is because it's 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 changing you too, bro. It's stop, it's, stop, it's changing Zach stop. too. Now, hold on, let me finish. You, it's you, changing Zach too. It is. You did finish. I didn't get a chance to re- to rebut what you said. <laughs> did you not finish? Go ahead. Didn't you ask me? Like you said to me, you said to me, how come it seems as if Zach was hiding something, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna answer okay. that. This is why like Zach is hiding something. Okay. The last time Fatima said, Yo, you need to go play nice with Karen. You need to go do this. Zach listened, right? And when he listened, he got chewed out when he got home because someone sent a picture to Fatima about him hugging Karen in the salon. Am I lying? She didn't say, hold on, no, no, no. She didn't say, she didn't say go play nice until after that situation happened. She said go, mm-hmm. she said go, she said go play nice the day, like two, like a, like a day after that, that, that situation happened and you and Aaron fought in the steam plant. I remember. No, he, I remember. No, because, she did. Yeah, she did. She did. No, no, she didn't. Because it. She didn't. I'm tell you why? I'm gonna tell you why she didn't. The whole reason why Zach went there to sign the paperwork was because Fatima told him, "Yo, you know she can get half." And the line reads, "Wait, she can get half, mm-hmm. and Heather can get half. So what's gonna be left for me?" Yep. But and then Fatima's line. Fatima's line right after that is, "You need to play nice." Mm-hmm. That's we the line. I know that's we got script receipts. Because I read it in the script. But then, hold on, hold on. But this, but, but this is the thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. This is the thing about revisionist history. <laughs> you can't change what happens to fit your narrative. Too shy. Fatima, mm. sent, Fatima, Fatima sent Zach over there to get them papers signed. Mm-hmm. Somebody else somebody else took a picture, sent it to Angela. Angela showed Fatima, and Fatima showed her ass when Zach got home. Yep. So Zach said, you know what? You're right. I'm tired of Karen fucking without happiness. I'm going to go press her. I'm going to go press Karen about this. Zach goes to the steam plant, presses Karen, beats up Aaron. Then when he comes home, Fatima says, why'd you do that for? Are you happy now? It's mm-hmm. obvious you still love Karen. Sleep on the couch. <laughs> now, how so was that thing? Now, how was that thing? And technically, so, so, you still slept on the couch. So, but, but here's my thing, though. Clearly, Zach is confused about what Fatima wants because mm-hmm. in one breath she's telling him, I trust you, go deal with your stuff with Karen, I trust you. But then every time he tries to go deal with it, she gets mad at him. So yeah, while he's trying to deal with the stuff with Karen, when she walks in, he's going to be confused like, oh shit, I'm doing The very thing she told him to go do, she got mad at. That makes yes. no sense. Yes, everything she told him to do, he did, she got mad. But y'all be too busy worshiping at the altar of Fatima to recognize it. Talk about it, Cam. I'm just saying. He yeah, doesn't even like Fatima. True. Like, really, dude? Oh, I, I, they don't even know Fatima enough to like her. Girl, okay. they don't like nobody but himself. You don't. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, so boys. why is he even the biggest boys. Jazz, please, you have the floor. I answered your question as to why he looked confused. He looked confused mm-hmm. because every time Fatima tells him to do something, he get in trouble. That's why he looked guilty and confused. He was like, oh, shit, I don't know what the fuck about to happen. And she crazy. So, yeah, he looked a little bit confused, and he was like, yo, I'm not going to tell her I love her right now with her looking all mad. So he was like, I'm not saying that right now. He was trying to not playing her face the way all y'all keep saying. He keeps playing her face. But at the same time, he's trying to do what she said to do, which is play nice with your baby mother so she don't take half of your stuff. Come on, ladies. Make it make sense. Do you want Zach to play nice with Karen or do you not? 
You can't tell me one thing and then expect me to do the other one. They're going to tell you no. They're yes. going to tell you no. Yes. And then they're going to get mad at you flirt. when she puts you on uh, child support. That's what's going to happen. They're going to get mad at you yes. for talking to her and playing nice. And then when she puts you on child support for not playing nice, <laughs> they're like, well, that should have played nice. He should have manned up. That's exactly what's going to happen, Cam. That's exactly what's going to happen. So, I, yeah, I, I, I hear Where's Shay at? Shay down there somewhere. I know okay. she's down there. Go ahead. Go ahead and finish, Jazz. I'm going to you get your time. Finish, Jazz. What's your next question? Jazz, please. I think she driving. Hey, y'all. I just want to say what up, Or parking. What's up, big show? Hey. I'm we on got Michael's Jazz, mother you driving? now. You can't talk. I think she's driving. Michael's mother you can't is talk. in the building. That's Mike's mother, the real mom, the real though, mom. Not, not, not Heather. Heather. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Jazz, Jazz, you done? Or you got any more questions? I think she's done. She's down at the bottom. Okay, uh, DeVal. Well, Zach. As a woman yes. who has been married for 10 years, if my husband had something going on like you, as mm. the wife, I would expect for him to go clean up his business because I don't need anybody coming in and taking half, 50%, 75%. The way them other two women is rocking, I would expect for you to go get your hands in what you need to get it in so everything can be solid and we can have the upper hand, whether it be visitation with the child, paying what we need to pay. Right. So I don't think people understand right. that coming from a real point of view because they see it on TV. It seems like you are flirting or doing this, but you're actually doing what your woman told you to do. Because I'm going to tell my That's man... That's what I'm saying. I'm going to tell my man, go ahead and do what you need to do. You can't help it if Karen kissing you on the cheek. If she's still in love with you, that's her business. That's her fault. Thank you. But I would trust Thank my you. man to go do what he needs to do. Um... That I don't know. That's just me. I guess because the way I was raised, and I've been married for ten years. If I've been with my man, and I know my man ain't gonna do what he's gonna do, I'ma expect for him to go handle his business as a father. Thank and you, you gotta and interact it, with the women. Like you can't be a father without this, interacting with the women. This and this is the big point that I, I keep trying to make to people when they're watching the show is Karen may be pregnant with his child. He can't go in there guns blazing, cursing her out, saying all these things so that she can take him to court later on and make his life hell. Zach has to continuously let her know that, yo, I got you no matter what you need because we're going to be in this together with this baby. Like, he has to do that. For all the people saying Zach is opening up old wounds and he's... Zach has never been sexual with Karen since he's been with Fatima. After that back room thing and the thing... He has not had any sexual relations with Karen whatsoever. On the contrary, he's told her plenty of times, like, yo, I don't love you like that. There's not much more Zach can do. Yeah, but and on the same token, you yeah. like if Karen what, what if Karen has a miscarriage? Like when you put those negative thoughts and feelings into a woman or if you're being mad at a woman, she can go into a possible miscarriage, early labor. Exactly. You don't know if that's your kid yet. Oh my you god. Say, I'm not gonna look at that. No. Exactly. That's my point is you're right. He has to go in there and be nice to her because she could go into a miscarriage. But all of these people are saying Zach need to cuss Karen out. How are you gonna cuss out a pregnant woman? What kind of man would Zach be? If he get up here on television and just start cursing Karen out, make right. that the villain. It, won't, it, it doesn't make sense. And to be honest, to be honest, Karen don't even deserve that. She don't. No I, woman, I, no woman deserves that. And if they, the shoe was on, they put in real life. They wouldn't want their baby daddy or they old lover to come at them any type of way. And if you think somebody is pregnant with your child, why wouldn't he go run to see? Where the mother Thank is, you. you're not gonna think about the girlfriend at that moment. You going to your kid. I mean, I'm just gonna be real. Man, man, you know, all the all the Fatima Hall has been real quiet lately. They didn't the sleep at the wheel. They sleep at the wheel. What the up, can? I'm just saying, man. I just find it, they just give her so much leeway. You know, they give her so much runway. That's all. I just want them to give the same amount of runway to Zach that they give to Fatima. That's all I want. That's all I want. I don't. I don't even want runway cam. You know what I want? I want. I want people to watch so empathy for Karen. Who's cooking right now? I'm sorry, bro. Who who's cooking right now? That's Somebody me. And hungry. Then that's Roman in the background. That sounds like Michael. <laughs> Roman over there. I got. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. Jr. 
<laughs> Sorry, uh, y'all. Like Zach. It's all right. <laughs> Zach Jr., exactly, because that is his kid. The DNA test said that. Y'all can get off that too. I'll be tired of y'all bringing that up. It's over. That's his that's daddy. That is, that is not daddy Nathan's kid. That. Thank you. No. Thank you. It's not Nathan's kid. Hey, they said it was Nathan. Why did he got to bring up? Bro, they've been saying yeah, it's Nate's kid. That was a good theory. Jeremy, go ahead. That was a good theory. <laughs> Jer- Jeremy made that theory up. <laughs> But then people just saying my kid look like Nate and my kid look like the other guy. Roman got real parents. How but he kind of do like Hayden else? and Nate. <laughs> Hayden, that's who it was. Y'all kept saying oh. my kid look like Hayden. That's that's actually kind of. <laughs> but he don't look like Hayden at all. He look like. He look like the forehead though. <laughs> Not the forehead. Don't he look, look like. Hey. Hey, it's the biking. That's why it is. So y'all niggas be using the bike all the time. That nigga ride the, the bike like your daddy. That's how you know that's his son. Them niggas like riding bikes. Like, that's the how you know. Been a DNA test. That was it. Right yeah. There. Like, can you ride a bike, little man? Yes, I can. And he ride the bike. Like, that's that, that's that kid. Yep. I made that before just like his daddy did. It, it would have been real funny if a team had tripped over the bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. Damn. Y'all, oh, y'all also, wrong for that. All right, so look. Oh, go ahead. I was about to say, people. My man got to get out of here, y'all. The time. It's the fact that Zach and Fatima, their relationship didn't start too much longer after Karen and Zach's three year on and off again thing ended officially. So that's even more of a reason why Zach and uh, Karen still have this kind of back and forth between them. We don't know the exact timeline. Trust and believe I've tried to construct the timeline, but it's inconsistent. But the difference between Zach and Karen being together, as well as Karen, I mean, excuse me, Fatima and Zach, is not all that long. So there are a lot of unresolved emotions, wounds that haven't been healed. And it's not fair to say that Zach just rushed into a relationship with Fatima, because if you look at Sister Season 2, there were plenty of times where Zach was hesitant to even get close to Fatima. It's like, hey, you know what? You remind me of my ex or my ex dig this. Fatima didn't want to hear any of that. It was pretty much a, I want to have fun on my terms thing. Zach was the one who wanted to do a DTR. So, remember, it's not all on Zach in terms of how this relationship went in about. Oh, Jeremy, you you know you about to get the Fatima Holics pissed when you start. Don't do it, Jeremy. Don't. All the languages, is 4,000 languages, and you decide to speak truth today. Oh, man. Trouble, right? <laughs> you know what's going to be trouble. Oh. Hey, the truth shall shit, uh, set you free. And I'm just saying, like, you know, I've been sitting here listening to these people going off, and I'm like, the people who are the most passionate are the ones who are missing the most important details of this storyline. It's the fact that Karen chose to leave Zach and go with Aaron. Fatima chose to stay with Zach no matter how many times she said, I want to pack up my stuff and go back to my apartment. Yes, Fatima is right yep. to feel the way. Who? How dare I? have the right who, who am i to tell somebody how the hell they should feel or respond to something fatima is free to feel the way she feels about zach regardless of what he does but here's the thing at the end of the day she's the one who chooses to stay with him zach did not force her to take that engagement ring zach you know asked her to move in and yet he was kind of pushy but guess what fatima made the she is a grown woman now if she and that's the thing about Fatima season five, uh, Fatima and sister season five. That's why I wasn't really rocking with her. Don't sit up here and say, Zach, I love you. Zach, I trust you. Zach, I know you won't do me like Ian by going back to your ex when you say you love me. I have full faith in you. But then five seconds later, and more often than not, this has happened in the same episode of Sisters multiple times. Angela will come with some bullshit. Andy might come with some bullshit. Basically, somebody will whisper just a little bit of doubt in Fatima's mind or in Fatima's ear, and she will lose all faith in Zach. So it's like, choose me or lose me. Don't tell me you love me and you believe me and I'm trustworthy if you're going to disregard all of that the moment anybody comes to you with any kind of, and I don't even want to say the word proof, when anybody comes with any sort of quote-unquote evidence that you did foul. Don't Tell me you need to process things for days if you're going to talk with everybody else in a civil and calm manner about the situation 
mm-hmm. except the person you're in a relationship with. You beef with Zach, but you can have a civil conversation with Andy. You can have a calm conversation with mm-hmm. Angela. I don't know what happened at the beginning of Sister Season 5, but the Fatima of old had died. The Fatima who gave a damn about how Zach felt, and even Zach, when he noticed Fatima, something was off with her, he's like, look, don't be closed off. Talk to me, baby. Let me know what's going on so we can work through this. Fatima's always been running I- away, and she wants to deny that. And also, the thing about Fatima and Karen, you know how Fatima's been acting like Karen? The main difference here is if Zach didn't have the money and all and he was staying at Fatima's apartment, he would have gotten kicked out as many times as he did at Karen's apartment. The only difference now is Zach has his own house, so he can't be kicked out of it. Yeah, you could say sleep on the couch, but hey, guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, I bought these. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what you call a proper defense. No, that is what you call a proper defense. You can't buy money that good for a lawyer. Hold on, let's backtrack, because I do feel women too, because Zach, when you went to go see your girlfriend or whoever, your ex in the burning building, you should have been over there with Fatima. I think that's what a lot of people are mad at because you was over there shaking like a damn stripper. But he and didn't know she was there. Karen, but when you seen Karen, you ran straight to Karen and you didn't give Fatima the time of the day. And not only Why would he relieve you? He's but an expressive you know, it's about Fatima, But it's not about Fatima in that moment, though. It's about Karen's alive. Oh, my God. She's alive. Hey, cool. You alive. And then you should have went over there to Fatima like, hey, she good. Let's roll. That is not rational. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to respond to this. this is that is so mean. I'm going to respond to this. I'm going to respond to this. Number one, Zach didn't know Fatima was there. Think about what they keep asking Zach. Y'all didn't see Fatima's face? Zach was like, no. Or when when did she go? Oh, she left at this point. Zach didn't even realize Fatima was there to go over there and comfort her. Neither did Fatima. Fatima didn't go comfort her man. Fatima stayed over there and was holding Andy and just looking wild evil. Right? I didn't get that. I didn't get that. What was she doing? But this but this is what I will say. But this is what I will say. Fatima has every right to be upset. And the only thing that bothers me when people try to get upset at Fatima is this. Well, Fatima's the one that said she was cool with Zach. Yeah, she's cool with it. And she's cool with Zach trying. That don't mean it doesn't cause feelings to come up. You know what I'm saying? Even though you say, I'm, I can deal with this. I'm going to work hard to deal with you and your baby mothers. It's a different thing when the baby mother's in your face. So I understand Fatima's character being upset and a lot of times just being like, yo, I don't even know how I'm going to deal with this because it does hurt your heart. But my, my issue is, is that Fatima and Zach aren't talking to each other. So it's not so mm. much that Fatima has, has feelings. I expect Fatima to have feelings. As, as a person watching the show, ooh, that, that's going to hurt. Watching Zach run. And, and I kid you not, if you had all the cast in here and asked them, when the director, Armani, was like, hey, when Karen comes in, Zach, I need you to push through everybody and grab Karen. I said, oh, you trying to have them curse me out on Twitter, right? And he was like, absolutely. <laughs> That's what it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be this over-the-top reaction of a guy who was like, wow, my the girl, my baby's mother is alive, not even realizing that his current fiance is standing there watching. Because that's a natural reaction. Think about death. When you think thinking somebody died, the first thing you, you think about when someone dies is not... I wonder how my spouse is going to take this person dying. No, it's, oh, my God, this person died. Like, it's not real for Zach to be concerned about Fatima when he's dealing with his baby mother possibly dying in a fire. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's more of a shock. So I get why Fatima's mad. And I'm not even defending Zach running he did. I think that it's fucked up. Devour would never do that. I would have grabbed K and been like, yo, what's the deal? We out. We out. But Zach... Zach is not the same person as Deval, and Zach does not have a father figure. Zach's mom's relationship is terrible. Zach's relationship with his previous girlfriend was terrible. So Zach's not going to automatically think to do the civil thing when he's done. You feel me? When you put it that way, it makes sense. Like, Hey, your first reaction if somebody did, you're going to run straight. Like, oh, my God, you're not there. Hey, how you doing? I love you. Oh, my exactly. God, I'm so happy to see you. And especially if you didn't know if Fatima was in the room at the same time. Excuse Michael, a.k.a. Roman, in the background, stirring these shrimp. 
<laughs> Michael is ha Michael's having the time of his life. I ain't mad at him. But um no, nah, but I, I, I understand what you're coming from as far as a woman's standpoint. I mean it's very fair. I mean, as as a as a man, if my wife left me and ran somewhere, I'd be fucking pissed. I'd be like, you didn't even look back for me. Like you like that would I'd be pissed. But at the same time, understand character not us. And if you understand you're like, damn, he because of this. Let me see how she's gonna respond. So I got time for one more question. Okay, let me see if I can find somebody in here with a question. Let's see. Put Luna on, oh. cause that girl be riding for Fatima. Luna. L Luna, okay, yeah, I be she's coming in. And she be tagging me a lot, so I hope Luna's ready with her notes. Yeah, Luna, bring it. Oh, there she go. <laughs> Oh, cause I've been, on, I've been waiting for all y'all. I've been waiting. I've been waiting for all y'all. What's good? What's Deval. good? Oh, I've heard that. Deval, you said Zach is not a liar. Is that what you said? No, he's not a liar. He's not. No, he's not. Season a liar. three, no. episode Ooh. seventeen. Um, Ooh. come on. Oh, Matter of fact, it was the beginning of eighteen when he went. Come to on, I told y'all. <laughs> when he went to Fatima's face and told her he had sex with Karen, knowing he didn't. That's a lie. I don't care if he was trying to make her mad or not. <laughs> Um, what episode is that? Twenty or twenty one of season three. Omissions is a lie. Mm. Oh, yeah, he told her he wasn't gonna call Karen, but he took his ass up to that salon. That's a lie. He didn't call her. But you ain't trying to be there neither. <laughs> don't don't even. He didn't call don't her. He even. Went to go see her. Yeah, that's mad very specific. At the fact that he had an emotional reaction to Karen, we don't care. He disregarded and abandoned her. In the midst of that, whoa, abandoned, abandoned Fatima straight up. Didn't give a did, 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 did Fatima wait? Something else did, did Zach leave the fire first, or did Fatima leave first? Did Zach leave the office first, or did Fatima leave first? He, he, he did, he left, he left, okay, he left first. her, and you got left. Yeah. So, what's the problem? Yeah. He, 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 no, but you said that he, he abandoned her, abandoned he did, Fatima. he didn't even acknowledge, oh, you gonna go with me. No, he straight up ignored her and went straight to the salon. And then she got and then y'all y'all acted a snot nosed fool outside that salon. And guess what? <laughs> nobody nobody thought to call Karen. Nobody thought to call Karen. So I'm I'm confused. No, she was dead. She dead. She wasn't answering the phone. To answer the phone. Yeah, that's she, wasn't answer, answer. That, she wasn't answering the that phone for Aaron. No, 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 no. Zach Same said, difference. listen, Zach, hold on, hold on. I remember this because I was in the scene. Zach <laughs> pulled out his phone. He said, Pam, stop lying, Pam. I'm going to call Karen. He called Karen's oh. phone first before he ran out, and she didn't answer. Then he yeah. said, I'm going to the salon. Yep. He panicked. He panicked. He ran out of that salon, left his fiance behind. So panicking he is a reason bad. to disregard he, his fiance? He, he was a, I, mm -hmm. I'm already that he was a bad fiance for that. He was terrible. And then, but not only that, when he, he noticed Karen he, was alive and he took his, his tail home, he did not call Fatima to check on her not one time. Not one. That's a lie. He was he calling he her. Yes, he did. He loved her. He was Luna, calling her. Luna, hold on. Luna, let me finish. Luna, Luna, let me finish. No, Luna, Luna, let me finish. I can't let you finish with the lies. He called, he he called her with an attitude. He did not call her to check on her well-being. Fatima, yo, uh, where you at? So now we got to get specific with the call. Luna, okay. Luna. You can't. Luna. He called her. You cannot say. He called her. You said. Luna, not Luna. You cannot say. You cannot say Zach didn't call. And then we say, yeah, he did call. Well, he ain't called with the right attitude. Yeah, you didn't like the way he called. You moving the goalpost. No, 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 <laughs> no. And I'll also, be... you saying that Zach don't give Karen false hope. Now, Karen fan going to like me for this. But Zach said in Danny's living room and said, right now, in this moment, I don't want to be with you. That's giving her hope for the future. If that's if that's how you want to read into that, Luna. Is, is, it, that's not? How you can is it not? I am well, screaming. Is it not? When a... When a man says, yo, I don't want to be right with you, no more. I mean, no, 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 no. Just, I, no. I don't want to be with you, no more. I know that because I was in the scene. He said, I don't want to <laughs> be with you, no more. I don't love you, no more. Is that just what you like need that. to hear? 
stormed out. But but he was lying. Luna, you can't make up stuff. He was lying. Luna, Luna, you just be making stuff no, up. No, no, I'm not. You're not seeing it from what I'm saying. If a man that always comes back to you tell you I don't want you right now in this moment, <laughs> are you not gonna think, oh, well, I still got a chance? Once again, Luna, that's a you problem. And if but that's, that's a Karen's think, problem. If, that, if that's what you think, Luna, you just as crazy as Karen. No. Girl, Karen delusional, sir. Oh, Luna. 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 Right Let me be honest. Let me be honest, Luna. 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 Let me because be, I'm standing up. Yeah, right stand now. up because because I'm, I'm I'm trying I'm, to understand. I'm right now, now I'm standing I'm walking, up. I'm walking over to you. You're Karen. You're Karen right now. You were sitting in. This was season three. You were sitting in your salon. We're not talking and about the salon scene. Stop, stop, stop. Luna. That's the salon. I'm about to go through all the times Zach has said to Karen, I don't want to be with you. And if you think that he still want to be with you through all these times, then, then you delusional. First time was in the salon. He was in the chair. He leaned over. He said, Karen, we are done. Done. I don't want to be with you no more. Remember that? Then gave her the money. That's one. Number two, in front of his house. Karen, Karen, this is not like you. I remember saying this because I was there. This is not like you. Coming to my house unannounced. Coming to my house unannounced. Acting like this. This is not like you. Remember, remember the whole Zach and shit thing? Remember that? Keep that same energy. I'm with Fatima now. That's my girl. Yes. She lives with me. Yes. That's what it is. If Zach said that to you, Luna, and you still thought he's still going to be mine, you we crazy, We're not speaking Luna. on me. We're speaking on these characters. Karen still thinks, yes, because she's used to getting <laughs> back with Zach every time. So Karen, of course, is going to still think that. That's what I'm trying to get you to display. And Karen's mom. <sighs> I got that you. left open but, a door. But, That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. Not but, in my mind, saying, in Karen's mind. That left yeah, open. But, but that's not his problem. That's not, that's not yeah. his You keep so saying my that is, that's my thing is, door. Though. You keep, I don't, I don't, I, and that's why I keep saying it's, it's delusional for you to believe <laughs> that it's that problem. Duval. If Zach, so, so wait, wait a minute, Luna. If Zach hit Karen with a car, mm -hmm. right, and <laughs> just ran over him with a car, I was like, boom. I don't want to be with you no more. <laughs> uh, is, are you, still with you, you know what? You hit me with that car. That means you still got feelings. Because that, oh, no. that was a love tap. That was a love tap. She didn't kill me. You could have killed me. That was the, the crazy thing. Listen, as delusional as Karen is, she probably think he's trying to reenact what happened with Fatima. Like, but guys, that's not Zach's problem. That's not a Zach problem, man. Zach still got to show love. To Why? Karen because Do you feel like you owe, he owes Karen so much. He don't owe her nothing. That's his baby. Might be his baby. Mother. They could be. potentially be his his mother. His you child, just, just found out your real out. breathing and your real child, real the no for sure child, is living terrible. Michael, yes. And yes. the first thing you want to do is just him? burn it along. Cause he well, thought he she already was dead. Like I mean, I don't like I'm, Karen I'm, either, but grief listen, is grief. I'm so anti Karen that I don't even care what he thought. <laughs> oh, so never mind. It's delusion. It's delusion. It's delusion. It's delusion. Luna, it's delusion, you guys. Luna, no, Luna. It's delusion. Luna, no. All black women Luna. need love. No, y'all. Luna, Luna come know on. Me. I'm so anti Karen. Oh man. I love Fatima. She I love straight. Fatima, but Fatima got some issues. I ain't gonna Fatima lie. Fatima can't deal with her Listen, issues because last issues is always at their front door. Karen. How she supposed to deal look, with any look. other issue if she exact issues <laughs> is always knocking? Every she time, oh, but she but invited she Zach issues in. Every, she invited Zach issues in. Every time she turned she around, Zach got a new issue going on. Oh my god! And she oh, right there with him, like we gonna get through this. Yeah, rubbing him right, on the back. She be right there with him, rubbing him on the back. Her, his ass to kiss every time. He don't. Ever, oh he no, don't, no, he, he don't. don't. He no, he don't. don't. This is the revisionist history. Yup, by Luna. That, that people are creating about Zach and Fatima. None. He never gave Fatima his ass to kiss. He didn't. No, Ooh, I don't. No, see, man. I don't like rewatching that hospital scene. But I'm, I'm gonna go rewatch it again because that show was giving her. <laughs> His ass to kiss. Go ahead, go ahead. He wasn't he wasn't giving her his ass to kiss. But but what happens is is when you lie to people, right, and you tell them things are one way, mm -hmm. and they're not that way, and then you try to have an intervention with some random dude 
that you met through another guy who was hitting on you. In yeah, the elevator. It's gonna, a, it's gonna be a little bit hard for for him to open up to you. You understand what I'm saying, Luna? Like, like you can't just talk about the thing that happened to Zach. We have to talk about all the things leading up. To right. That. Why were her and Paul in the stairwell? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like <laughs> we Paul was in the elevator first like, of all, Cameron. Uh, listen. <laughs> no, nah, Paul was I, in the stairwell. This, this is the truth. I understand that a lot of women relate to Fatima's character. Because a lot of women say, and I, I watch them, they'd be like, yeah, I'm Fatima, right? I'm Fatima. Yes, a lot of you are Fatima. A lot of you also have traumas, but you try to put out this big facade that you're a tough guy, when really, you're not that tough. And what you want is understanding. Zach does the same thing. Zach try to act like he's a tough guy, and he's not. All he wants is understanding. But while you're trying to get understanding from the woman that you love, and she's constantly getting upset after telling you to do stuff and then you doing it, it's going to be hard for him to be like, yo, come on, Timo. Like, how you expect me to talk to you honestly about the stuff I'm going through where every time I listen to you, you get mad at me? Zach, for the first time in this series, right, what you're watching now is Zach doing stuff on his own terms and telling people, I don't care what you think, I'm doing it this way. Is that, is think that about it. That's exactly what he's doing. He's like, I'm going to make sure parent is good because that's what I need. Okay, Fatima, you got a problem with it, but you're going to have to deal with that. He told that to, to Rodeo. Roma, Rodeo was just like, hey, bro, she's upset. And he said, yo, she's going to have to deal with that because I got a lot going on. Like, let's, let's be real. Zach is the only person in the whole series, right, who got two baby mothers coming after him. The SEC was coming after him. Hayden was coming after him to get him fired him and send him locked up. But all y'all just want Zach to brush that off as another day in the office. But if Karen calls Fatima a bitch, oh, hell no. That ain't right. So you telling me Fatima's ex, which was Hayden, can get Zach fired from Chain Breakers and get him locked up. But that's not supposed to affect Zach at all. He's supposed to be fine with that. But Fatima gets called a bitch by his by his baby mother and now it got to be World War Three. Make that make we, sense. We don't have a Zach problem stressed, with... The problem with that is when Hayden mess with Zach, Fatima checks that immediately, every time. But if Karen comes for Fatima, Zach, I'm blind and deaf. Like, he can't hear, he can't see. So now can I call you a liar real quick? I'm going to call you a liar. That's not true. Lu Luna, I'm going to call you a liar because this is the third time you done lied to Zach. <laughs> Zach, Zach went home, Zach went home and, and Fatima was like, somebody sent me this. You know what You know what Zach mm -hmm. did? Zach went to that freaking restaurant what and checked that? Karen. Five? Yep. How, long, how long did season it take five. for Zach to actually stand up for Fatima? Oh, so there you go, moving the goalposts again. All, no, 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 no. She wants to move the goalposts. Let's go back to season three when Ooh, Zach child. walked in Dandy's house and said, Ooh. I don't love you no more. Like, what do you want, Zach? You want Zach to elbow drop, Karen? What do you want Zach to do? <laughs> he want, he it don't matter he, what. He wants Zach to flick Karen on the forehead like he did Belinda. <laughs> well, okay. I'm not Different even relationship. Here. I'm not even mad with that, but listen oh, to this. Listen. When, <laughs> Zach, when, Zach went in there, when Zach went in there and cursed Karen out and tore up the whole steam plant, Fatima didn't come back home and say, thank you, baby, for finally standing up for me. No. You mm -hmm. know what she said? Mm. You only did that because you still love her. So yep. Oh, out. my God. I can't wait with this team. So Tina didn't say that. Yeah, she didn't say that. She said yeah, she way, said way. you're only you're fighting him because you're mad with Karen, not because you still love her. Uh -huh. Luna. Don't do that. No, so I, you know you know I, I love Fatima. You know I love Luna, Fatima. Luna. Fatima got her issues. Luna, so you telling me, first of all, you said that Zach never defends Fatima. Zach went mm -hmm. to defend Fatima, and when he came back home, got put on the couch for defending Fatima. Zach, so you Zach did not defend Fatima in that moment. He defended the fact that he was caught in the situation. He went down to him. No, he did not. Come on now. When on you you watching? Are you sure you watching, sister? Are you watching Sisters, Luna? She got an extra season y'all ain't make yet. Because I'm lost. <laughs> Luna, you what? you can't be in here lying on Zach to defend Fatima. Like, you 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 worse than Johnny Cochran right now. And he was a good lawyer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. No. I think she's making good exactly. points. Exactly. I am making good points. Well, I, I, I need to hear the points. I don't I don't. Yeah, think I want to hear them. Fatima got a picture of Zach in a situation, and that is what made Zach mad. He was caught in that fucking picture. Excuse my cursing because I but do that all the time. Uh, so time out. <laughs> it wasn't Why? because Why? it wasn't because Fatima was mad. He could give a damn about when Fatima's mad. We all see that. He disregards Fatima's feelings all the time. 
First of all, Luna, you're just making stuff up. I'm going to explain you why, right? You got to listen to the words when you watch the show. Listen to the words. No, no, seriously, seriously, listen. Zach said, yo, I'm going to have Andy take this stuff. Uh, I'm going to have Andy take the paper to Karen. Chris, not Crystal, Fatima said, no, you could take it to her. Zach mm -hmm. said, do you want to go with me? She said, no, Zach, you can take care of that by yourself. I trust mm -hmm. you. Zach said, are you sure you trust me? She said, yeah, Zach, if y'all were going to do something, y'all can find time to do it. It don't got to be around this. I trust you, babe. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. When you tell a man that you trust him to do something, he goes there to do what you told him to do. Then when he comes home, you show him a picture someone took of him hugging his, his baby mother. That's not trust. So oh, you knew he was going to see the up. exact opposite Hold of up. trust. Hold up. Because she trusted him to go. The only reason she, her trust was broken is because she got that picture. And Fatima didn't have nobody take the picture. It was done at the salon. So that's not her so fault. That's not her fault. So let me ask a question. How was that Zach's fault? How was that Zach's because fault? Because you was on your you way him, out the speak door. On it. Why you even turn around to the... What? You was on your way out I'm the I'm going to tell you why. No. I'm going to tell you why. You, you want me to, you want to know why I'm going to tell you why? This is the honest truth, right? Have, do you have a baby mother, Luna? Now you know. Damn. Exactly. <laughs> you don't, right? So, you know what happens when your baby mother's angry? They take you to court and they get more money. They you take away your rights. They take away your rights for your kids. That's what happens. So, when Fatima told Zach, you need to play nice with Karen because she can come after you, that's exactly what Zach was doing. Playing nice. And then he got in trouble for playing Dude. nice. He was what doing told what Fatima to do? told him to do. Fatima said, yo, you need to play nice because she can get half. That was literally her words. Literally. Playing nice was everything you did before you turned around when she called you back. Because there was no reason oh, for that. Her. No, you got to still play nice. You can't just stop playing nice because you what, almost off the door. What reason did he have to turn around in reality? Like, be for real. What reason did he have to turn around to go hug this girl? She was I'm saying I'm something. Give you, I'm going to give you the reason. Nice. I'm give because you the Karen reason. is finally just chilling and not causing no issue. So he's just trying to reciprocate. Yeah. Yeah. She's been playing for 18 years. It's peaceful. Years. But we got to keep this, this little momentum going. She cool. I'm cool. She act up. I'm an act the, up. So the if she be cool, I can turn around and be cool. You'll she, never she, take us there. So have a baby by her. When Listen, you got home I'm and Fatima you. showed you the picture, then you like, she set me up. She's never nice to me. Now you think about that? Now it takes well, that. Fatima well, well, knew you was going, though. Well, That's the well, weird part. Luna, Luna you keep. Moving the goal, the goal, yeah. It's every time the same you said, situation, yeah, but you said you, on it. No, 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 no. Is, you're not acknowledging the fact that Fatima sent him there. If yeah, Fatima was that concerned about it. Fatima could have went with him there, but she did. She was not Fatima concerned said, I about it, that. though. That's the point. Fatima so, said. She was clearly she, she was concerned if she got a picture. And exactly. That means, she got a picture that was, was not her fault, though. Angela brought that picture to her. If she was concerned about it, she would have been calling Zach, like, where you at? Are you done? This, if she wasn't concerned so, about it. The picture is what so, made her concerned so, about it. So when Zach got home, she was giving Zach the cold shoulder. Mm -hmm. and that's real mean you to Zach. see that picture remember, on that the screen. Comes, because from, from the and angle the said, picture was took, and that looked like a kiss. Of course you're going to be mad. So if you trust somebody though, if you trust somebody, let's not forget. If you trust after somebody, he kissed Karen, that Karen kiss him on the cheek. He ain't call her all day like he normally do. Let's not forget she said that too. Luna, the vow. Luna, Luna, which one is it? Which which one is it? Is it because he didn't call? Is it because the kiss this on is, the cheek? First right, of all, it's, it's all it's all of that though. That's what you're it not understanding. All. all of that made her concerned. She was not concerned in no, the beginning. She knew about the whole situation. That's my thing. She knew about the whole situation. Listen, that's my whole thing. Cam, let me, let me, let me just, let me just speak on this real quick. Luna, if you tell the significant, your significant other, you trust them. When you get a picture for someone outside of that circle of trust, your first inclination shouldn't be to believe the picture without even discussing it with the person you said you trusted. That's a problem. You can try yep. to avoid that problem for Fatima all you want, but if you're going to send somebody into hostile territory and say, baby, go do that because I trust you, if you get a picture, you're, the most mature thing, thing to do would be, babe, I got this picture. What is this about? 
And it's that simple as saying, Hold on, when, when Zach got the picture of Fatima and Ian, did he discuss it with Fatima first? He, no, he, he didn't. got an attitude when he went out. He became a daddy yes. daddy. Remember that? Exactly. Exactly. I remember that. I remember all of that. And you know what Fatima said? You know what Fatima said? Do you remember what happened when she, when she got home? She lied about where she was. Yep. Now, see, y'all about to be mad at me for this defense. <laughs> Y'all gonna be mad at me oh, for this no. one. No, we we've been mad oh, at you. Be yeah, mad we've at been mad. No they always mad at me for this one. She said she didn't go nowhere after work. The coffee shop is where. Oh, oh my okay. god. Okay. Omission. Oh, so who's okay. omitting now? Who's omitting now? I knew they was gonna be mad at me for that one, but listen. I'm, you, I'm omitting, not, you omitting information. Camera, listen, don't. I'm not. I'm not listen, yo, Cam. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not mad at her. You want to know why? If that's the energy you have. For what Fatima does, then you possibly can't be mad at Zach because Zach is mm-hmm. that thing. But she if can't be mad. Zach, if you're gonna be mad at Zach, be mad at Fatima. My thing is, whatever's good for the goose, good for the gander. If you're gonna give Fatima all of those passes for the stuff that she's done, then give Zach all the same passes. But if you're gonna criticize Zach, you can't then give Fatima the passes. That's why I keep bringing it Zach up. Zach had more you grace than anyone, person. though. Like he's had more grace oh. in the anyone in the show. He's had more grace than. No, so giving Fatima's true. grace is, is not a problem. That's not first of all, first of all, that's another lie. Zach didn't have more grace than anybody. Fatima, I think, oh, I think Fatima you, I is still you, with Zach, so that's a lot of grace because they don't know. Time out. Time out. Since since that's we're talking her about choice. grace, right? Oh no, no, no. Since we're talking about grace, right? Zach has never stepped out on Fatima, right? And she's never stepped out on him. No, but you said Zach has gotten more grace than anybody in the show. Danny has slept with three other people while dating Cowboy. But you guys still continue to be like Danny. Let Cowboy love you the right way. I don't like Danny and person together, so not y'all. <laughs> well, you just, well, you, well, you can't say Zach had more leeway than anybody on the show. <laughs> I don't. Then you can't say that. You can't say that then. That's, that's not true. Zach has more leeway than anybody on the show. Zach has more grace than anybody on the show. They just messing around. That's all they doing. Okay. Okay, so now I'll use another. That is true. Zach has had more lee- Zach has had more leeway than Gary. Yes. Luna, Luna. Zach had a whole family. This is going tip for tag. Like Zach, yo, listen, Gary had a whole family. A whole family. <laughs> with kids. With kids. Fucking Gary, man. But you still find a way to blame Zach. This is why I put the hashtag blame Zach. Because people just like to blame Zach. It's not that we people like to blame Zach. Zach. Zach keeps making stupid decisions. I I used to defend Zach to the T. Till I realized he, he just an idiot. I hope you defend Zach better than you defending Fatima right now. Because yep. the way you defending Fatima right now just means like you just throwing anything against the wall to see what's No, that's because you don't get it. The Fatima Hall is good. We get it. <laughs> no, that's the whole point. You're worshiping an idol, so you can't see straight. You know what? That's, that's Cameron, true. you know better. <laughs> you know better. The truth hurts, guys. Fatima has her flaws. Like, and she does the same stuff Zach I does. Am at the point, oh, she puts a ribbon on I it. Am at the point that's the only difference. Where his gift wrapping ain't that nice, and her packaging is really nice. That's the, that's the truth, though, Cam. And here's the truth people don't want to realize. Nobody here is saying Zach is perfect and don't make mistakes. No. What we're saying is Zach is super imperfect and has made a ton of mistakes. But if we're going to have the same level of grace for Fatima, we should have the same yep. level Extend of grace Zach. to Zach. That's all we're saying. We're not saying Fatima is the worst character ever. We're just saying, wait, if y'all that mad about Zach doing this, why are y'all still riding for Fatima who did the same thing before Zach did? That's all I'm saying. How can you how can you say that picture speaks a thousand words or Zach got mad at the picture, but it was a picture that Zach saw that made him go off the handle? Okay, so, so a picture that's was my thing with Zach, Zach, though. Handle. Zach is upset at Fatima for being upset about this picture when he did the same thing. And Zach But they just ran into him earlier though. That's my thing. We ran into yeah. the dude earlier. We played him, and it was funny, ha-ha, and then you off with him meeting up for what was going on here. That's a good point. Say man. that again, Cam. That's all I'm saying. They, when, they, we, they, when we ran up on her ex-boyfriend together, mm-hmm. 
She made it seem like she ain't want no parts mm-hmm. of that. Remember? She Which is the same thing that Zach oh. does when he comes to Karen. He makes it seem like oh, he wants on, no hold parts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But no, the issue's on the chair. That's, that's, that's not what he's that's not at all, Luna. Luna, Zach don't do that at all with Karen. Zach has told Fatima tons of times, I have love for Karen. I will always love Karen. Mm-hmm. He even told Fatima that when they first started dating. They were in the living room. He had on a, wife, a white wife beater. She had on a yellow dress. And she was talking about exes, and he was like, yeah, my ex really held me down. Like, I'm always going to have love for her, but she used to talk down to me crazy. He yep. always said the same thing. He never made it seem like Karen didn't matter. He always said to her, like, yo, I've had love for her because she held me down. I wish I could pay her back, but I can't. He's been saying that since season two. He's been saying he don't want to be with Karen, too, but she keep letting this girl kiss you. Why? He don't okay. want to her. But, but back to the point, though. You still ain't answered the question about... Her meeting up with Ian and them laughing in the park at Ian and then her going sneaking off to meet up with Ian she did not to hear sneak him out. Off to meet up with Ian. He came okay. to her job. Okay. He did. Okay. And he felt comfortable doing that. Why? And he felt comfortable doing that. Why? Because he's just as crazy as Karen if we go in there. Uh, oh, if we go whoa, in whoa, there. Oh. He just opened up another Pandora's box. If we go so in okay. there. If we go in there. Because y'all so like to blame Karen there. for Zach's behavior. So let's blame. So we blame yeah, the Ian for, Fatima, for okay. Since that's what we doing. Okay. So, but if okay. we're having this conversation, Luna, realistically, uh-huh. right? Zach has told Fatima when he was gonna go see Karen. Did he not? He, he even this last episode, he went to her job to be like, "Yo, I'm trying to tell yep. you, I'm going to do this. Like, I'm trying to go tell you." She took that meeting with Ian without even telling Zach that there was a problem at all. She didn't even tell Zach. She went and did that on her own. Mm-hmm. And then when Zach asked about it initially, she lied about it. She wasn't upfront about it. Now, let me get, get to this part. Fatima came home. She, I mean, she talked to Zach on the phone before she met with Ian, right? She said, I'll tell you when I get home. She come home, and you got dumb and dumber in her face. Yes, Cam, I'm talking about you and Tom. <laughs> you got dumb and dumber in her face, <laughs> acting a fool. And you think she still want to talk? Mm-hmm. No, she doesn't. She ain't even focused on us. She ain't even stunning us. She wasn't focused on y'all. She got in on her mind. She got in on the mind. She wasn't stunning so, us. She wasn't stunning us. I'm, I'm saying. She wasn't focused on. Excuse these Georgia fireworks. Oh. oh. So she couldn't pull Zach upstairs real quick and say, hey, this is what I'm good. You know, he real boy reached out to me. You know, he reached out to me again after the park. Who up the bam? He couldn't do that. She couldn't do that real quick. I think she did that Damn. on purpose, though, because I felt like she wanted Zach to go with the boys to have a night out while she processed the whole thing with Ian. Because yeah, because remember, she got to do things on her time. Exactly. But also, purpose. I need to make a point. I, I think people have been missing out on one specific point about when Zach went to the salon for the signatures on the paper and then got caught in that photo with Karen making it look like they were kissing. You have to give Zach some credit. He came there for all business. Hey, Karen, the lawyer has this paperwork. Um, you know, can you check it over? Have Andy give it the one, two, sign it, and give it back to me. When Zach came in, Karen has been, pay- uh, if you've been paying attention, Karen has been doing manipulative stuff. Like, for example, when it's like, hey, I sent you a message that I was coming by. You didn't respond to it. Oh, I didn't get it. And then she tried to play mind games with him being like, hey, well, I mean, you used to do the same thing, right? Where you would just say that you didn't get my message or my call when I know you did. But then things kind of escalated when she's like, hey, come to the back. Notice how Zach was so uncomfortable about that. He said, no, we could just handle it right here. And she insisted they go back to the back. So you, we say that, and I've, and, I've, and I've said this myself a few times as well, Zach gets caught up in some stupid shit. More often than not, it's because the person or the people he's interacting with at the time, whether it be Karen or, as some might argue, another bad influence on him, they don't respect his boundaries. Zach came and said, hey, here's the Jeremy, paperwork. That's, Karen this is what I'm saying. When is like Zach going to think for himself? So, when is he going to think for himself? She was just in the back when she was watching her you back there. So let me ask a question. When is Fatima going to think for herself? You only get mad when Angela show her pictures? How- All the time. <laughs> Now, now, Deval. Now you know damn well that's have not true. Same, Angela only showed Angela showed her the picture. She looked. She looked at the picture herself the first time. She snatched Angela's phone for that one. Now the second one, Yo. Angela is the same thing. I call Angela messy all the time. So 
Yeah, look, she, you look, can't even. Yeah, <laughs> that was Angela's you fault. We gonna put Angela with a good on that one. For it. You can't even come up with a good excuse for it. You can't because you can't say Zach don't think for himself. But Fatima only Fatima don't think for himself. Outside influences. And if we being real honest, but also, but also, Zach, if we being honest, Zach, Angela hold on, hold on, the only hold on, one that defends Zach. Hold on, hold on. Listen, when Zach, when when Fatima shows Zach that picture, Zach sat there for a minute and said, "Oh, I know how this happened." And she said, "What you mean?" Zach didn't even get mad at Fatima. Okay. Zach said she did this on purpose. That's why she was being so nice. He didn't even get mad at Fatima for showing him the picture. He went straight to the steam plant to check Karen. Mm -hmm. He didn't get mad at Fatima. Then after he checked Karen and got into the fight with Aaron, he got back home. Fatima was mad again because he went to the steam plant. Like, you can't put none of that on Zach, but you find a way to blame it all on Zach. All of it. <laughs> that man went to the steam plant to check Karen, beat up Aaron, came back home and got put on the couch by the girl who sent him to the... He was losing that fight in the beginning, but anyways, go ahead. Keep going. Hell no, he wasn't losing that fight. He was on Aaron. <laughs> if Fatima said, Zach, get up. That's that's when he started the win. He he needed a little push. Let me explain something to you, man. I didn't I didn't got into a fight with Aaron three times in the show. Every time I bring it out, ass man, go bring it out, baby. I was pounding Aaron, and, and then I hit oh. with the elbow by accident, and I turned around and said, "My bad." Then he grabbed me and threw me on. Now the you table. won that one. That's not the one we talked about, though. We talked about this thing. Then the second one. Time, he won all of them. I won all of them. Did you? You feel like go that. look at the oh, okay look, okay. I'm gonna rewatch it again because I, I oh Rocky, please do check you're, the you're, footage. I, I feel like your hatred for Zach, your hatred. You had a boyfriend named Zach in the past. I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, she she got something against Zachs. Uh -huh. I don't like men. You don't. I like, just don't like. You Zach. don't like Zach Efron. You don't like no anybody <laughs> named Zach. You don't like Zach's friends. They great people. <laughs> but I'm not in denial about it though. I post every day that I do not like Zach. Love the value. I get it. I get it. You, but I like you're Zach. not. I, I get it. You you are not in denial. You hate Zach, and I and I get it. Like I, I love Zach. Zach. He was a great character. That, that type of passion is why the show is so popular. But that's why these debates are needed, so that people can express how they feel about it. And what it's showing me is that Zach is a trigger for you, a personal trigger. For and he you. is. And, don't and I just had that what? conversation with my friends the other day. Right. I so, relate so, so much really? to Zach that I don't like him. Well, well there's, there you go. it has nothing to do with the storyline, but it has everything to do with your personal responses. But I want you to think about this, right? You are an actual person. You are an actual person who are having triggered, dramatic responses because Zach reminds you of yourself. Imagine what Zach goes through dealing with all of these people coming at him left and right with how his mom and his dad and his friends have created triggers for him. The same way you can't think clearly because you just don't like somebody, that's the same way Zach is on this show. He just don't, he got triggers and he's just like, I just don't like Aaron. I just don't like Aaron. I just, I just want to fix this for Karen. I just want to do it. I don't care what anybody else says. I just need to do this for me. You see what I'm saying? I get it and I understand that. But me growing the way I did as being like Zach, used to be like Zach. Let me not say I'm like him now because hell no. The way I, mm -hmm. once you, as you grow, it becomes a choice. Mm -hmm. A choice to change. And I feel like Zach is not making that choice. Who helped you grow? The, my community. I'll say that. The the friends that I have are great people. They help me grow. Oh, then Zach's in good hands. Zach should be in good hands, but he don't treat her like it's good hands. He's in, she's, he's in great hands. He has a great community around him. Not Nathan and Tony. Luna, I know that ain't make you sure to, no man. My bad, Luna. I missed you for a minute. What'd you say? Who helped you grow? My friends. My community. I uh, See, and this is why... And I used to reject them like Zach rejects Fatima. And I had to realize that you got to accept the help sometimes. Ooh, Luna. Can you speak? See, now, Luna. And, and that's what I'm saying. It's a choice. He keeps rejecting her. No, 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 no. It's not a choice. Listen, Luna, just listen, right? Zach doesn't have anybody in his corner, in his friend group, that he can trust with his mental health. You had friends that you could trust and listen to, right? Mm -hmm. Let's think, who's Zach going to listen to, right? He can't listen to his mom. He can't listen to his brother. His dad isn't around. He can't listen to Tony. He can't listen to Nate. Who is going to help Zach grow? The only person that can help Zach grow 
is phasing him out because she needs to process things. And that's what you guys won't admit to. If you want to be somebody's forever, you want to be someone's soulmate, you have a fiduciary responsibility to help them grow. Zach and Fatima have to be there for each other. Fatima can't step back and say, Zach need to figure that out on his own. And while he's figuring it out, judge him for it. Zach literally has nobody in his corner to speak empowerment and positivity into his life. So for all the people to sit back to be like, Zach need to figure it out. How? How? If the one person who was supportive with him is now muting him and figuring stuff out, how is Zach supposed to learn? Okay, let me ask you this. If you had a friend group, right? And they needed to take some days from you to regroup. Are you going to answer my question, Luna? Are you going to no, answer I, my I question? No, I need to. I, this is this is going to follow up from your question. But are you going to answer the question though? Yeah, I am. This so is, who so who is supposed to help Zach? That's what I'm saying. Fatima is trying her best to help him, but sometimes she she needs to step back. That's even with a friend group. Sometimes they need to step back and let you figure some things out. They cannot hold your hand the whole entire time. Well, don't hold it against him, then. Then why he's trying to figure it out? That's my point. If she's going to step back, she can't hold it against him whatever poor decision he makes. Yeah, because like, you just made it clear he don't have anybody else. So once again, so what I'm you're telling you, me is when she stepped back, she can't trust Jack, Zach to make rational decisions, basically. is what you're saying. No, what I'm saying is that you still haven't answered my question. Who is in Zach's support group that was a, who's going to be able to support him to be better like your friends group were there to support you? Who? That's what I'm saying. Fatima is there, but also she has to take moments for herself. She can't be there 24-7, and that's what Zach expects. He expected her to be what his mom wasn't. So is, is she really there 24-7 if she keeps leaving to process stuff all the time? He has an issue? Look, name a conversation. Repeat that. Name one conversation. Name one conversation where Zach said, "Babe, I need to talk to you about something," and Fatima stopped everything in her life to do it to go be there for Zach. Name one. Hmm. It's always on her, t Luna. Even them being in a relationship was on her terms. Zach was the one who said, "Yo, why don't we be become exclusive?" She's the one who said, "No, I don't like getting close to people because when I get close to people, I get hurt." I get hurt. Fatima's the one that keeps pushing Zach away. You can't sit here and once again become a revisionist historian and say that Fatima's been there 24-7. Fatima hasn't been committed to Zach's mental health since the very beginning. It's been about her. It's always been about her. No, no. no. You made me think of a moment because I thought I didn't have one. As soon on, as Zach discussed Tony with the, the SEC lady to Fatima, she went and solved that issue that same day. She didn't waste no time on that. Which he was trying not come to out as, as Come out as soon as Zach did as what? As soon as he told Fatima that she was trying to blackmail him, she handled that immediately. As, so every time he question. went to jail, she handled that immediately. Now, you're answering questions for helping him with legal trouble. I'm going to ask you again. When Zach has needed work with his mental health, when he was going through something, name the times... When Fatima has been When he came back not, with his mom, not, she came downstairs and went straight in that car to console him. Absolutely. 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 That was it. That was it. And what did she say? We're going to be in this together, right? And she's trying to be in it together, but Zach keeps making stupid oh. decisions. Like, oh, my learning? God. Uh, it ain't going to happen overnight. This ain't no microwave love. We can't press. What, what she, listen, what she, what she saying that big? You put me through all this and just expect me to take it? That's what he basically expect her to do is just take everything that he dishing out. Luna, Luna, Luna. It is clear that you do not like Zach's character. <laughs> and that is perfectly fine, Ma. Like, that is that is perfectly fine. But what is not okay is for you to continue to make excuse after excuse after excuse for Fatima's poor behavior. That doesn't show any growth. That just shows delusion. Like, every time someone points out that Fatima has done something, you say, yeah, but what? No, that's a part of growth is acknowledgement. I have acknowledged on many a times that Zach is far from the perfect fiance. I've even acknowledged that if I were Zach, I wouldn't be doing half the shit that he was doing. But what I'm saying is Zach needs a companion. And I That's get that, is, but right? when is he going to make a choice to let her actually be his companion and stop making these stupid decisions outside of her? 
that's what I'm trying to get at. He needs to, at this point, he's making choices to do stupid stuff. So you don't think Fatima's made any stupid choices? Fatima nope. made the, <laughs> the ultimate stupid choice, and I'll say, not leaving that man in chain breakers parking lot. That was the ultimate stupid choice. You see made. what I'm saying? Oh. You haven't seen. Any you really want to do You haven't like seen, that. but this, but yeah. No, but that's 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 and that's perfectly that's perfectly fine because here's the truth. Fatima's just a paralegal who lived in an apartment. She now lives in a high rise apartment because Zach made two million dollars. So you know where Fatima would have been if she ain't meet Zach? Still in that same apartment running behind Andy's ass. So um But that's but these are the but these are the parts that bad. people Appreciate don't want to talk about. These are the parts that people don't want to talk about. Zach has done We're more for Fatima. We're not talking about the, the material things that he does. That they yes, does for everything each other. that Zach has done good. Everything Zach has done good. You don't want to talk about. You want to talk because about the poor if you decisions. if we mean real material things don't mean nothing. If the, if you tear her down emotionally, the the material things don't mean nothing. Nothing, not a thing. So 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 who teared who down emotionally when Zach was like, "Yo, I want to be with you," and Fatima was like, "Nah, I don't think you're ready." Who was tearing who down emotionally? Then. Now, how you want to count that and they weren't even in a relationship? If that's the case, oh. if that's the case, we can count Zach's little fling with Karen as a cheat. We can't count nothing that happened when they weren't in a relationship. We we can't count it as a cheat because Fatima says so we cannot she count didn't want to be in a relationship. Her, him down emotionally by saying he's not ready to be in a relationship then. That, that, that Luna, happened before Luna, they got together. Luna, how old are you? 25. You know what asking? You twenty five? Okay, it's making sense now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's my time. No, no, no. <laughs> it's been a joy. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you, yeah. thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all. I, I really, really do. This fun. has been great. This is fun. This has been great, Luna. You are president of the Zach Hater Club. Yeah, I am. That's right. <laughs> Make sure that you <laughs> at me every time you got something to and, say and about we'll... Zach on Twitter. All right. Make sure you do that. Cause we're gonna be going at it. I I take I I want all smoke. So I we love. We are it. firefighters. I, <laughs> I, I done shut you down too many times. You can't no. And I get right back no. up, baby. I get right back up. <laughs> nah, you 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 got it, Luna. You you win. You win. I, I love you, this conversation though. Even Jeremy's part of it. Nice. She grinds my gears every day. <laughs> it is wow. it is a very important. To have. It's a very important conversation to have. I gotta say too, I appreciate Jeremy, man. This is two hours and twenty minutes of your time, man. You you kept us on here. You you've listened to us go back and forth. You've added your your ideas of what you think happened, didn't happen, bro. You are great at what you do. Um, anything I could do to help uh, push your platform forward, I'm with it, bro. Like I'm with it. I'm all about uh, black creatives, black creators, and I'm all about the fans. So please, man, let's let's find a way to do this again. We definitely will. I mean, folks, you got to give it up to the Val uh, when he hit me up early today to, uh, you know, discuss. Look, man, we got to talk, Zach. Let's make this discussion happen. I was blown away because to have the Val, Zach himself, contact me to talk about this character, it was definitely such a privilege and a tweet. Everybody listening, this was the first Twitter space. And I got to say, based on how this one went, this will be the first of many. So I will do my best to download this, put it on YouTube and other platforms because a lot of fans got to stay their peace, but I feel like there's so much we haven't even touched on yet. Cameron, thank you for joining in. I know we got to talk to the team at some point in the near future. Yeah. I know we got to talk more. <laughs> yeah. uh, big Shayla, we got Michael's mom in here. Angela, I didn't get you in here uh, because the debate between Luna and the Val was so intense, but we got to link up and do something soon. But, uh, make sure, make sure you support DeVal on all of his social media platforms. Check out um, his wonderful book that he and his wife put out there. I have read it, We Over Me. I've read it um, earlier this year. And if anybody has any kind of feedback for how the Twitter space uh, went, please let me know. And that that's really all I got. I mean, I got some videos coming out tonight, my episode review, trailer breakdown, discussion videos. Any last thoughts before um, we let DeVal go? No, my, Let me give y'all y'all flowers. Hey, DeVal and Jeremy. Jeremy especially because you be pushing your stuff so hard. Like, you got so many views on YouTube. Like, you always going hard for what you believe in. So, I just want to give you your flowers because this is super dope for you to be able to finally get your moment. 
um, and just be able to let the fans say what they needed to say. And the value always, you know how I feel about you. We, we rock. Big, you, always. you know, it's we rocking. Oh, we always rocking. You know, I love you, mama. That's it. That's it. Um, this is such a great platform for y'all. This is awesome. It Thank is, you. and I, and I gotta you. just say, man, it's it's people, it's people like Luna, uh, Danielle, Shalon, Jazz, please, A Williams, like, it's really people like that who have made our show number one. Please keep being y'all best selves, man. Please continue to tweet. Please continue to argue with me on Twitter. Like, y'all have no idea. Like, the the, the way people are consuming content is changing, and artists love to hear from the streets. Y'all, y'all make everything. It's it's re- really all of y'all. It is all of y'all. So continue to do that. Continue to tag us, um, add us. Continue to to share everything. And I love y'all, man. I love y'all so much. Cam, you know you my guy. Cam's birthday was two days ago, so everybody give Cam a happy belated uh birthday shout out. But um, that's it. That's all I got, man. I love y'all. Everybody, take care, yo. All right, appreciate you. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, like I said, I'll have this um, discussion up on YouTube uh, later on tonight or tomorrow. And get ready for new Sisters content. So everybody stay safe, and we'll talk next week.